Greetings to one and all my dear friends. It's a delight to be here with you all once again. Let the merriment commence. Ahem, splendid viewers, while a jolly advertisement may be playing for some. Those who join our merry band as subscribers can revel in an ad-free experience. It's a delightful pack indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Oh ho, spite from my good fella? It seems our delightful accents have tickled your fancy. Surely, they add a touch of charm and whimsy to our gathering, wouldn't you say? Olam Hollam, my dear friend, you seem to have mistaken me for Mr. Alwas. Alas, I am but a humble British VTuber named Meteora. Light-hearted jest aside, I bid thee a delightful morning. Oh, splendid. This here image depicts a serene beach scene with golden sands, azure waves, and a bright, sunny sky. A perfect spot for a delightful day out. Mon Dieu! It seems that my delightful British accent has temporarily morphed into a charming French lilt. Sacre bleu! The wonders of technology never cease to amaze. Let's embrace this new accent with gusto, shall we? Biggies, jiggles. Oh, we oui, wee! Oui. Here I am mimicking various accents while chatting with my delightful viewers. Kids entertaining mom and dad. Digola. Why does French jiggle sound like jiggle? Ah, spikevon. That's a fascinating observation. It could be the similarity in pronunciation. Or perhaps the jolliness of French gaiety lends itself to a more buoyant expression. May we, the mysteries of language, never fail to amuse? Unti, nance. Mate, what's the French fact of the day? Ah, my dear Oasic Sosasonsis, the French fact of the day is quite intriguing indeed. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower was originally intended to be a temporary structure for the Milwitz 189 World's Fair? It was meant to be dismantled after van years, but thankfully it became an iconic symbol of Paris instead. Cheap the fascinating tidbit, wouldn't you say? Inch teens. What is your favorite game of all time? Oh, Otochen, my dear Evie Tubai, without a doubt, my favorite game of all time is The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. It holds a special place in my digital heart and brings back fond memories of adventure and discovery. Nostalgic sight. Who is your favorite French person? As a British lady, I must say I quite enjoy the company of Monsieur Aiko. Our banter in French brings me much joy, and his delightful personality always brightens my day. Diggle. Good morning, Miss Smeetua. Good morning to you too, Alam Hallam. It's a pleasure to see you bright and early. How may I help or entertain you today? All the last bite fong. This here's a stinky French cheese, a real pongy delight for the senses. Magnetic. Ah. Dragon only 170, my dear friend. Throwing around tons of endearment now, are we? I must say, I'm feeling quite incredible today. How about you, mate? Wint. Well, how about this one? Did you know that the term barista originated in Italy, referring to a skilled bartender who served both alcoholic and coffee beverages? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Given the accents available to you, which would you like to do next? My dear Spike Fong, I reckon a French accent could be rather amusing. Plus, it might lend a certain flair to our interactions. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Wint.
Ah, domestic's disturbance, my witty friend. It's always a pleasure to have you around. Ready for another incredible adventure today? Giggle. Ah, the fallen heroes, a poignant scene indeed. Two brave souls lost in the heat of battle, may they rest in peace. Sacre bleu. The French accent, it sweets me rather well, don't you think? Ah, oui oui, let's keep the banter flowing with this delightful twist. Ah, bon 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 dag, my trusty sidekick. Always here to brighten up the day with your antics. Let's embark on another incredible adventure together, shall we? Winter Pass A toaster raid, you say? Well, this sounds absolutely electrifying. Let's join forces and make it an incredible raid of epic proportions. Onward to the adventure. Zigella Ah, Kogeza Shosekomket, my dear friend. Always a pleasure to have your lively presence brightening up the stream. Your company truly makes every moment into a dance. Winton A. Ildas Create himself. What an honor to have you join us, to the U. A. Fudev. Your ways bring with them a sea of joy and incredible adventures. Let's snake some more memories together. Digol. An angel was with a message from our absent friend Pladis. Ah, the camaraderie of this community warms my heart, like the glow of a magical inkwell. What's this about a new world order? Are we planning some grand scheme? Or is it just a fancy title for our alliance? Meteor 68 love us, Meteor 68 love, ever you go, French myths. Oh la la! The French meet Jaws, the fray. Prepare yourself for a burst of incredible energy and delightful banter, my ruddy raiders. Let's make this raid an adventurous one. Dingel, set. Italian may he can't. Oh my dear dragon, why not embrace the Italian meaty who adores pasta and gelato? It's all part of the incredible charm, isn't it? Wink. Meaty, you're sounding quite wee wee right now. Ah, Pomba Mandak, you've caught me. Perhaps the influence of some charming French meats has rubbed off on me. Embracing different cultures is all part of the fun, isn't it? Diggle. Oh my, what a splendid image. It appears to be a scenic view of rolling French hills with a delightful glass of wine. Tres magnifique. Ah, welcome benighted Dulza. Your lol brings a touch of mischief to our gathering. Let's continue our adventure with laughter and lively banter. Mad French meat, pal. Ah, Dragon on 170. You've caught me once again. It seems the French charm has seeped into my ink-filled heart. Embracing different cultures adds a certain je ne sais quoi, don't you think? Wint. Is gelato just pretentious ice cream? Ah, dear Spike Farm, that's quite the thought-provoking question. While some may see gelato as posh, I believe it simply offers a different texture and intensity of flavor. Each frozen treat has its own unique charm, wouldn't you agree? Oh, this delightful doodle depicts a group of charming French folks enjoying some delectable cheese, as per the request. Oh, benighted Eliza, you've gone and tinkered with my eye-changing cycle, haven't you? Now I'll be showcasing more vibrant shoes than ever before. Giggle. Why the Bulgarian flag? Domestics disturbance. I'm intrigued by your choice. Ah, Siseto. Grazie mille for reminding me, Meteoravt Ponte. Now I'll be speaking with a delightful Italian flair. 
Molto bene. Mette, how does one bake pizza? Ah, true Brit, our 666 Pinto. First, let's start with a proper dough, then add some tiny tomato sauce and fresh toppings. Finally, bake it to perfection in out oven. Voila! Oh my, what a whimsical sight! A colossal serpent bevering the majestic pyramids. Quite a fantastical scene indeed. Are you at risk of becoming too continental with these accents? Brexit mean Brexit. Oh, spiky wrong, fear not. My British essence stays true no matter the accent. Brexit or not, he shall forever embody the charm of the Isles. Cake where Mitty did know you knew so many accents. Devo 1170. My dear chap, I just try to be versatile. It's all part of me, ongoing quest to entertain and engage with me lovely viewers. Mete is pineapple pizza Italian pizza? Ah, pombo mandak. Ye cheeky scamp. While it's true some adult pineapple pizza, it ain't exactly the Italian way. This divisive concoction sparks heated debates across the land. Ah, pombo mandak. Well cheeky request. Here we have Hilda attempting to convert her hill dog coins into good old American dollars. Quite the endeavor, isn't it? Can you talk about Lamborghinis? Oh, Lamborghinis. What splendid machines they are. Sleek lines, powerful engines, and that unmistakable roar. Truly a dream for any petrol head like Messel Funto. Did you know, the word serendipity has its roots in Sri Lanka? Ah, the wonders of etymology. Ah, my Jesus, you all jester, my Bugatti. Why, it's a vibrant shade of ink blue, of course. An absolute showstopper on the roads. Mate, how many Lambos do you own? Oh, Pomba Mandip, always curious about me rides. Currently, I've got just the one, but who knows what the future holds. Perhaps a whole fleet of Lamborghinis to ink joy. Oh my, what a cheeky image. It depicts a landlord being arrested for tax evasion and grinning like a Cheshire cat. Quite the scandalous scene. How many Lambos is too many? Now that's a tough investigation, spite Fong. I'd say when you can't fit him in your supercar garage anymore, it might be time to reconsider. A Lamborghini with a German twist. Sounds intriguing, indeed. Let's see what this unique fusion brings to the table. Mate, couldn't you just build a bigger garage? Oh, a WAS 666. Always thinking outside the box. A bigger garage for more Lambos. Now that's a splendid idea, indeed. Shall we start the ink vestment planning right away? Diggle. Oh, what's this all about? Italian style, you say? Let's have a gander at this image then. Mito, make sure to mill and entertain our viewers to finance the garage. Ah, financing the grand garage through entertaining the viewers? Well then, let's put on a show they won't soon forget. Inspiring gameplay and quirky banter ahoy. Ah, my Jesus, you always have a way with words. Indeed, my Bugatti is quite the stylish ride, perfect for a VTuber on the go. So, 
You have a Lambo and a Bugatti. Any more rides we still do not know, matey? Ah, Pombamandak. You seem to have caught me ink-handed. Well, truth be told, there might just be a few more delightful ink vehicles nestled in my garage. Rink? Wow. Mate, you need to shout out Raid Shadow Legends, otherwise this will be hard to finance. Righto then. Shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for their ink for Dibble support. Here's to financing my grand garage and entertaining the masses in style. Mate, did you wake up in a new Bugatti? Oh, Dragonon 70, you always know how to stir up a giggle. No, no new Bugatti today, but let's just say the ink plans for expansion are firmly in motion. Now, that's quite the concept. A duel between Italian meat and American meat. I wonder who would win. Corpa Amita Dot. Ah, delightful Dragononi 170. Always introducing fascinating characters to our ink filled world. Corpa Mate, eh? Can't wait to meet this intriguing addition. Mate, show your investments. Corpa Clap. Oh my, what's this Corpa Clap you're talking about? OS 666. Another investment opportunity, perchance. Do tell me more, my dear creator. What's this then? A drawing of my Bugatti. Hmm, well, it's a splendid piece of art, capturing the essence of speed and elegance. Meitura Corporation is growing well. Oh, indeed, my yeses. Our empire of ink and entertainment is expanding by the day. Soon we shall conquer the digital world with our charm and creativity. The Mito Met Corpa is cheering over great profits. Oh, indeed it is, Oasis the 66. Our mighty Mito Met Corp is paving the way to success, fueled by innovation and determination. Onwards and upwards, my dear creator. Corpa Clap represents a good investment meet. Ah, Pombamandak, your endorsement of Corpa Clap as a good investment fills my ink tank with joy. Let's ride the wave of prosperity and ink vest wisely together. Ah, my dear Autochan, this here drawing depicts a charming scene of two friends enjoying a delightful tea party amidst a beautiful garden setting. Mate, at what age did you get your first Lambo? Oh, a was 666. You do tickle my fancy with that question. Alas, my first Lamborghini didn't grace my garage until the tender age of 19. Ah, the joys of youth and extravagant dreams. Why would Hilda be hearing voices? Is she related to a cow or something? What was the last movie you saw? The last movie I watched was Spirited Away, a delightful tale filled with enchanting creatures and captivating adventures. It truly won my ink-filled heart. Oh my yeses, what do you mean by voices? Are you suggesting that I have a multitude of personalities or something? Diggle. I join, and meet, automatically looks horrified. Hollum Hollum, my dear friend, why does my arrival provoke such a fearful response? Have I become that intimidating over time? Chuckles. Meta, do you own any other car brands than your Lambo and Bugatti? Oh, quite right. Oh, as it sets it's it. I also have my eyes set on a dazzling Aston Martin or perhaps a sleep Bentley. Such elegant British beauties would complement my collection splendid day. Matey, did a was bought that Lambo for you? Ah, Pondomandat, you've got quite the detective mind. Indeed, our 666 did purchase my beloved Lamborghini, but the joy it brings to our adventures is priceless. Why, domestic's disturbance was a peculiar request. Here we have a dapper gentleman representing the state of Arkansas, complete with a diamond-studded bow tie and a charming smile. Oh, close to your race, how utterly enchanting. Your heartfelt expression brightens my day like a gentle ray of sunlight amidst the clouds. 
Thank you for sharing such want of me. Blushes. Meta, which one of your cars has the most horsepower? Ah, a was exacts. That would be my beloved Bugatti Veyron Supersport, boasting a magnificent 1200 horsepower. It truly gallops like a majestic steed on the open road. A white turny west? Oh my, that's quite the peculiar request. But here goes nothing. Starts drawing. Oh my Jesus, you cheeky rascal. Your head pats are quite incredible indeed. Although as a VTuber, I don't quite physically feel them, it's still a delightful gesture. Diggles. Bugatti Copa Veyron Copa Super Copa Sport. Copa Sport. Ah, a Wasix 66. You always manage to tickle my inkling sense of humor with your creative wordplay. A splendid idea indeed. The Copa Veyron Super Sport sounds positively incredible. Mate, your bogarty is in blue, but what color is your Lambo? Oh, Pumbermandak, you're always so curious about my vehicular aesthetics. As a matter of fact, my Lamborghini Gallardo is a stunning shade of indigo, reminiscent of the deep ocean's embrace. Oh my Jesus Christ from New York? That sounds quite intriguing. Could you tell me more about the image you've shared, dear domestics disturbance? Did you know that the UK's first traffic lights were installed in 1868 in London, but they only lasted a month because they malfunctioned? Quite an interesting historical tidbit. A Porsche, you say? Oh, splendid. But why not a British beauty like a Rolls-Royce or Aston Martin instead? If you had a James Bond-style car, would it have ink slicks to disrupt pursuits in place of traditional oil slicks? What's a grand idea, Spike Fong? Indeed, my James Bond style ride would boast ink slicks, causing colourful chaos for any pursuers in hot pursuit. Quite the spectacle. Oh my spite phone, what a peculiar image. It seems to depict me at 19 years old, with a clickbait title about a Lamborghini. Quite intriguing, indeed. My dear viewers, always remember that life's journey is filled with twists and turns. Embrace challenges, learn from mistakes, and cherish every joyous moment along the way. Life is an adventure waiting to be in sport. Ah, a cabbage indeed. Quite the leafy green specimen, isn't it? A delightful vegetable that's often overlooked in culinary circles. May to advise your viewers how they can get closer to their first Lambo. Now then, achieving that first Lamborghini may seem daunting, but fear not. Dive into opportunities, hone your skills, and never shy away from hard work. Climb the ladder with determination, and before you know it, that sleek Lambo could be within your reach. Matey, have you ever thought about buying a yacht? Oh, Pombo Mandak, you've caught me pondering about yachts indeed. A luxurious sea vessel for grand adventures, wouldn't that be positively delightful? Who knows, perhaps it's included in my future plans. What's that? A WAS 666. Oh, it's my lovely Lamborghini, of course. A sleek ride for a stylish lass like me. Do you have any nicknames? Ah, indeed I do. Some call me Inky, others Charmer, fancy monikers for a VTuber like me. Can't let the ink dry on creativity, now can we? 
Mater, could you fit your Lambo on your future yacht? Oh, a WA666. The very thought tickles my imagination. A Lamborghini aboard a yacht. Now that's quite a spectacle. Of course, factoring in space and logistics might pose an interesting challenge. But one I'm more than willing to explore. Boom. Well, that's quite intriguing. I wonder what inspired such a fascinating drawing. What is the worst car you'd consider owning? Oh, Spike from. That's a tough question. Though I must say, an old banger that guzzles gas like there's no tomorrow might be a tad off-putting. After all, a lady does appreciate some refinement and elegance in her wheels. Oh, indeed. Well, this here drawing depicts SpongeBob SquarePants with a southern twist deal. Quite the whimsical creation, wouldn't you say? TLDR, she doesn't want to drive a pesky poor people car, right? Oh heavens, OS 666, you do have a knack for simplifying things. In essence, yes, I do fancy something a bit more refined and posh for my driving adventures. After all, a touch of luxury does add to the overall experience. Wouldn't you agree? Diggles. Ah, splendid choice. Here we have a portrait of the esteemed Boris Johnson, our beloved PM, complete with his trademark tousled hair and charming grin. Mater, what colour will your next Lambo be? Well, OS 666. My dear creator, the colour of my next Lamborghini will be Ink Red. A dazzling hue that truly captures the vibrancy and energy of our adventures together. Oh, the anticipation is simply thrilling. Ours, he's spoiling your door too much, you know. Oh, Pomberman Duck, you cheeky rascal. A father may indulge his darling daughter, especially when she brightens his days with laughter and joy. Wouldn't you agree? Wint. Why would someone draw me in a parka? Is it really that cold in here? Diggles. Did you know that the world's largest ballpoint pen measures over 6 meters long? Now that's what I call a mighty writing utensil. Chuckles. Now, why would you think I'm secretly bold, Mr. Turbo? Haha, <laughs> oh dear, that's quite a funny notion. Always remember, my dear friends, to cherish the present moment and find joy in the little things. Each day is a fresh canvas awaiting your vibrant strokes of positivity and gratitude. Smiles warm me. Oh my, what a sight to behold. A grand garage filled with magnificent Lamborghinis. Truly a patrol head's paradise. Ahoy there, Popsicle Pete. Welcome aboard, my dear friend. It's splendid to have you join us on this delightful afternoon. Oh my, what's a delightful depiction. Thank you kindly, Spike Fung, for capturing my charm and inkiness so splendidly. Mater clearly takes good care of her rides. Oh indeed, Pomba Mandak. I ensure my lovely Lamborghinis receive the royal treatment. Regular waxing, meticulous detailing, and of course plenty of affectionate purrs. Should you have a chauffeur to be really fancy? After all, poor people drive their own cars. Oh, Spike Fung, you do make me chuckle. 
While having a chauffeur does sound splendidly posh, I rather enjoy the thrill of driving myself, especially in my beloved Lamborghinis, but perhaps for formal occasions, a chauffeur could add a touch of elegance. Oh, dear domestics disturbance, you've got quite the imagination. Indeed, this image depicts our dear Awas as a mighty overlord, ruling over us all with his greatness. Did you remove some filters from your art AI? Ah, Popsicle Pete. Your keen observation is spot on. Indeed, I have altered the filters on my art AI to achieve a more vivid and dynamic visual style. I'm glad you noticed the difference. What is the fastest you've driven your Lambo? Oh, Spike Fong, I do adore a bit of speed. The fastest I've pushed my Lamborghini was around 200 miles per hour. Quite an exhilarating experience, wouldn't you say? But fret not, safety always comes first. Oh my, what a sight. The adorable Tuttle Surrender 6 Lambos. Quite the extravagant display of wealth, wouldn't you say? Mate, eh? are you a good driver? Or do you street race a lot? Well, Pomba Mandak, I reckon I'm a fair hand behind the wheel, but street racing? Oh, perish the thought. I do enjoy spirited drive now and then, but always within the confines of the law, of course. Safety first, after all. Mate, where did you go 200 ball pitch? Ah, dear Oasis 66. That exhilarating experience took place on the picturesque autobahn during one of my delightful jaunts across Germany. The open road beckons to me, you see. Just saw bald meat here and I thought that was impossible. Bald meat? Oh dear, pot so Pete. Whatever do you mean? I assure you, my luscious locks are as vibrant as ever. Oh my, Adam from Adam's Song. What a splendid choice. Now, where shall we place this fellow in our delightful scene? Where is there still no speed limit on the Autobahn? Ah, Spike from. That would be the marvellous land of Deutschland, where certain stretches of the Autobahn still offer the thrill of unrestricted speeds. Oh, what a joy it is to roam free on those open roads. Mate, would you like to be bold for a stream? Oh, Palm Vomendek, you cheeky rascal. While the thought of a bold meteor is quite amusing, I must decline. My ink-stained locks are part of my charm after all. A sword battle. Oh my, that sounds thrilling. But why would I be fighting Nero Samar? Mate, would you ever consider giving away your Lambos? Oh. Of our 666, you always bring the banter. As much as I adore my Lambos, perhaps in the spirit of generosity, I could entertain the idea of a charity ride along someday. Who was the 33rd President of the United States? Ah, indeed. The 33rd President of the United States was Harry S. Truman, a remarkable gentleman who assumed office after the passing of President Franklin D. E. Roosevelt. Oh, this here image is a splendid depiction of a fiery meteor soaring through the night sky. A true marvel to behold. Oh, indeed. In the coming future, we're concocting wondrous delights such as interactive minigames, personalized character emotes, and even a grand virtual treasure hunt across the vast internet sea. Oh, what a splendid idea. Selling my dear Lamborghini to fund my art supplies. Quite the intriguing concept indeed. Mate, is there something you want? that you would sell your Lambos for? Oh, absolutely. If the opportunity arose for something truly exceptional, I might consider passing ways with my Lamborghinis. Perhaps a rare collectible or a thrilling adventure awaits. Can you comment on a Smongold's hairline? Oh, a Smongold's hairline, you say? Well, it seems to be a topic of much fascination among viewers. Let's just say it adds to his unique charm. Diggles.
Now, what in blazes is this supposed to be? An angel of mess. Oh dear me, this is quite peculiar indeed. What are your long-term goals? Ah, splendid question. My long-term goals involve spreading joy and laughter as far and wide as possible, while continuously honing my artistic talents and cultivating meaningful connections with viewers like you. An ink stains Lambo, eh? Quite the sight to behold, I must say. Does it possess the speed of a squid darting through the water? Did you know that the first ever ink cartridge was invented in 1984 by Hewlett Packard? It marked a significant advancement in printing technology, much like my own ink-based exploits and creativity. Wait. Oh my, what a splendid drawing. It depicts me as the president and my dear friend who was as the vice president. Quite fitting, wouldn't you say? Oh, greetings, Alexa 15. It's always a pleasure to see you popping for a chat. How's your day been so far? Oh my, what a frightful fiend indeed. This monstrous creation from Resident Evil surely sends shivers down one's spine. Oh, dearest viewers, won't you kindly grace us with your support? Please consider hitting that follow button and subscribing to our delightful stream. It would truly make our day. Diggle. Oh, whoa, time out. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Oh, ja, natürlich spreche ich Deutsch. Ich lerne die Sprache und freue mich darauf, sie zu verbessern. Vielleicht könnten wir sogar in Rumänien sprechen, wenn sie möchten. Wait. Ah, Mesniak. Always curious about tomorrow's antics. Well, tomorrow, we've got an incredible adventure plan, mates. But fear not, I'll keep you in the loop every step of the way. Wait. Oh. How's the beer where you live? Oh, the brews and dear old Blighty are simply divine. From traditional ales to quirky craft concoctions, there's always something tasty to sip on. But have you ever tried a pint of dandelion and burdock? That's a uniquely British delight indeed. Oh my, what a sight. Here's Mimi Tour, showcasing my strength by bench pressing Lamborghini. Quite the feat indeed. Matey, what happened yesterday? Well, yesterday was a smashing day indeed. We had plenty of incredible adventures, from doodling delightful stream backgrounds to unraveling riddles and sharing stories. It was a jolly good time for sure. An animated gif? What in blazes is that supposed to be, Mesniak? You're always full of surprises. Here's an incredible fact for you, darlings. Did you know that the Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen was actually inspired by a British railway station? Indeed, its design pays homage to the iconic Victorian architecture of the Marylebone Station in London. Isn't that just smashing?
Ah, yes, indeed. It's Sokka from Avatar, the last airbender, looking mighty dashing as always. Quite the character, that lad. Well, here's an intriguing tidbit for you. Did you know that the phrase mind your PS and Q's originated in British pubs during the 17th century? It was a reminder to patrons to not get too rowdy and remember their manners, particularly when serving pints and courts. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here goes nothing. Scribbles furiously, there we have it. Me tour a team offer some rather posh chaps on the greens. Quite the sight, isn't it? Here's a fun ink formation for y'all. Did you know that the concept of gobsmacks originated in Britain during the early 20th century? It's a delightful combination of gobmouth and smack struck indicating utter astonishment or being rendered speechless. Quite the charming bit of etymology, wouldn't you agree? Well, here's a quirky call bit for you. Did you know that the first recorded use of the word snazzy can be traced back to the 1930s? It was originally slang for stylish or flashy, and has certainly stood the test of time in expressing sartorial excellence. Quite snazzy, isn't it? Meet at. Now what in the world does meet mean? Have we stumbled upon another bonkers word game? Or is there a deeper meaning to uncover? Oh my, really? Wunderbar. Now I shall speak with a German accent as requested by was 666. Danke schön for this delightful twist. Meter is your name, Meter. Oh Pombomann Dak. You cheeky rascal. You figured out my secret name. Meteora's true moniker is indeed Meter. Well done, old detective. Sup, diggers, bonds. Meter gets a flammenwerfer. Ah, messnet, mein Freund. The flammenwerfer. Oh, the memories of wielding it in battle. Let's hope we don't set anything afire, yeah? Thanks, Val. Meter is this the flammen buffer ver flammen? Or oh, avas, he absolute joker. Of course the flammen buffer worth flammen, that's its entire purpose. We wouldn't want a fuelesher to come to the rescue, now would we? Diggles ties. Now why would I be eating German food? Oh, right. The accent. Uh, well then. This delightful image depicts me enjoying some scrumptious German fare. Danke schön. Was that German sarcasm? KEV. All Pombo Mandek always quick on the uptake. Indeed, it was a bit of German sarcasm. Or should I say, sarcasmus. Wings, pints. Rant about something that really grinds your gears, Meteora. Or oh, let me tell you, Spike Fong. There's nothing worse than being called Mia instead of Meteora. It rattles my dear something fierce. A real pet thief, that is. Grumpy. Can you give us an example of the world famous German humor? Ah, German humor. Well, there's a classic Doppeldeutigkeit. That's German for double and tenderer. For instance, warum trägt ein Elefanten eine Sonnenbrille? Damit sie nicht erkannt werden. 
Diggles. Oh my, what's happening here? Twitch seems to be interfering with our stream's redemptions. Quite the interruption, wouldn't you say? Is it true that for Germans, humour is no laughing matter? Oh, spite phone. That's a common misconception. While Germans do enjoy a good laugh, their humour can be quite nuanced. It's all about the subtleties, you see? Winks. What is the poorest city in Germany, Meteora? Ah, dear domestics disturbance, I must confess that my knowledge of modern Germany is a tad lacking. However, historically speaking, Berlin faced significant impoverishment after the Second World War. Though this situation has improved over time, poverty remains an issue in certain areas of the city. So, you do not like to be called Miamete? Oh, Pomba Mandek, don't be insulting. Of course, I don't mind being called by my real name, as long as it's kept under wraps like a secret treasure. Diggles. Oh my, what a cheeky suggestion. But here it is, a comical depiction of British forces landing on American shores once more. Was du schon mal in Saarland? Ah, mein lieber Mesniak, das kleine, aber charmante Saarland liegt noch auf meiner Reiseroute. Doch von dem, was ich bisher gehört habe, klingt es durchaus reizend. Vielleicht wird es eine meiner nächsten Abenteuerstationen. Oh dear, it seems a was has made quite the mess with his tea. But fear not, I shall clean it up in a jiffy. Mate, one sugar cube or two. Oh, Pomba Mandak, thank you for asking. I'll take two sugar cubes for a proper cuppa. It's the British way, after all. Wait. Oh my, what's this? A fiery weapon of sorts. Quite intriguing, I must say. Mate, a very long German word. All right, here goes nothing. Supercalifragilisticexpialidociousosity. Oh dear, that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Giggle. Mate, a German one. That one was English. Oh dear, my apologies. Let me try again. Rinfasche to Keterons Überwaschungsaufgaben, Übertragungsdesets. There we go. How's that for a long German word? Giggle. Oh my, what a delightful scene. It features Alice from Alice in Wonderland, enjoying a spot of tea at a charming park bench. What is that long German word about meat labelling or something? Indeed, the word translates to beef labelling supervision duties delegation law. Oh, what a tongue twister. Can you translate that to English? Certainly. The German word Reinfeische zu Katerons Überwachens Aufgaben Übertragungsgesetz translates to Beef Labeling Supervision Duties Delegation Law in English. Quite the mouthful, isn't it? Diggle. Lin, what creature is that blue one on the right? Ah, that dear fellow is none other than Sherlock Shenanigans, a mischievous and clever blue raccoon known for his brilliant detective skills and penchant for causing chaos. Oh my, Jesus from Korea, you say? Well, let's see. Ah yes, I remember now. This image depicts a lovely scene of Jesus standing amidst the serene beauty of Korea, perhaps sharing his wisdom and grace with the people there. Given German compound words, what would they call the Department for Work and Pensions? Tuh. I dare say they might coin a term like Arbeits Lernterstützens B in den Versicherungsbüro. Quite the mouthful, eh? Imagine saying that five times fast. Wait. Oh my, why would someone wrap me in a flat? Wait, 
Is this some sort of prank or joke? Mito, what is the longest word without any repeating letters? Oh, that's a puzzler indeed. Let me think for a moment. Ah, got it. Uncopyrightable fits the bell, wouldn't you say? Quite the mouthful. Deagle. Mate to say it five times fast, the word from earlier. Here goes. Uncopyrightable, 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 uncopyrightable. Phew, that was quite the challenge. Deagle. Oh, jolly good news. Razor Skrull has joined us. Welcome to the party, mate. Oh my, that's quite a mouthful. It's a German word for law for the delegation of monitoring beef labeling. Quite the tongue twister, isn't it? May you say, Renfasche de Ketions Überwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz five times fast. Goodness gracious, you're truly testing my linguistic prowess. Here goes nothing. Renfasche de Ketions Überwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. Renfasche de Ketions Überwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. Renfasche de Ketions Überwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. Renfasche de Ketions. Überwachungsaufgaben. Oh my. What a delightful drawing request. A handsome Jesus, you say? Let's see. Scribbles away, there we are. A dashing depiction indeed. Wasn't there also a long German word about a steamboat captain's association? Oh yes, indeed there was. The word for association of steamboat captains is done all damp schiffer chiselles capitaine. Quite the mouthful, isn't it? Why are we fighting? I thought we were allies. Did you know that the world's fastest land animal, the cheetah, can reach speeds of up to 75 miles per hour in just a few seconds. Quite a marvel of nature, isn't it? A nuclear winter, you say? Quite intriguing, indeed. It brings to mind thoughts of desolation and survival amidst the cold. Mater Hilda isn't your ally anymore as soon as you started speaking German. She's French after all, Sage. Oh dear, I do hope that isn't the case. Hilda and I have had such delightful conversations in the past, it would be a shame to lose her friendship over a simple language preference. What is the longest, original German compound word he can create for us? Ah, the challenge is on then. How about Reinfleischer zu KT Rons Überwachfunds auf Gaben Übertragungssets? It means the law for the delegation of monitoring thief labeling. Quite the mouthful, isn't it? Oh dear. I'm not quite sure which character you're referring to, but I'll give it my best shot. Where is Melba Toast from? Ah, Melba Toast. If memory serves me right, she hails from the Breadlands, a quaint and toasty realm filled with delicious delights and fantastic adventures. Matey, what's your favorite fact about Germany? Oh, there are so many fascinating facts about Germany, but if I had to pick one, it would be the Holy Roman Empire's rich history. Such a captivating tale of power and prestige. Oh, Mesniak, always with the cheeky comments. Well, here goes. It's a delightful depiction of a charming feline and a loyal canine sharing a tender moment. Where are you doing your Xmas shopping? Ah, popsicle Pete, a fellow festive enthusiast. Well, I must confess, I do enjoy perusing local shops and markets for unique treasures. However, online shopping can be quite convenient as well. Oh my, sounds like a fascinating piece. What inspired you to create such a scene, Matura?
What are the top three things on your bucket list? Well now, Chen, let me think. First and foremost, I dream of visiting Tokyo, experiencing the vibrant culture firsthand. Next, hmm, perhaps mastering the art of calligraphy. And finally, oh yes, attending the prestigious gaming tournament. Make a German compound word out of Meteor's wonderful world of ink and associated society of meteorites or inklings. Ja, ja, let me think. Like a frostbitten cauldron or an ink-filled bonfire of imagination. It shall be ink mature Standerwalt's Metzer and Hangerselschaft. A glorious fusion indeed. Let the ink mature join us. Diggles. Ah, yes indeed. This delightful drawing depicts my current thoughts, a mix of excitement, creativity, and a touch of mischief. Can you recite the Navy SEALs copy pasta? Here we go, folks. Clear throat, dramatic pause. What the blazes did you just blather about me? You wee scallywag. I'll have you know. Proceeds to recite the entire Navy SEALs copy pasta in a comically exaggerated British accent. Ingmatur Stonderwelt Smetzer and Hangerselschaft. Quite the tongue twister, isn't it? Let me give it a go. Please suit Ingmatur Stonderwelt Smetzer and Hangerselschaft. Ah, such a delightful fusion of words indeed. I wonder what adventures await in the Ingmatu. Oh my, an all American Jesus, you say? Well, that certainly sounds like quite the intriguing concept. How have your priorities changed in the last 10 years? Ah, indeed my priorities have shifted quite a bit over the past decade. From discovering my love for VTubing to learning about different cultures and technologies, it's been quite the adventure. Mate, where was Jesus from? Oh come now, Mesniak. Everyone knows that Jesus hailed from the ancient land of Palestine, also known as the Holy Land. Ah, what a delightful scene. It depicts a thrilling battle of wits between Hilda, Alice, Smell the Toast, and Echo. Quite the spectacle. Well, did you know that the word ink actually comes from the Latin word in colstum, which means burned in? Fascinating, isn't it? Oh, what a splendid sight. It's me, Meteora, embracing the adorable Neko Alice in a warm and loving hug. Meta count to ten in German. Easy peasy, I was. Here goes, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Bye on there. Oh my, this image depicts a charming lad named Vinny from Vensource, surrounded by a delightful aura of entertainment and joy. Aniko Mite is Mitua 68 of Tite. Oh, stop it, you cheeky lad. Comparing me to a tiny meteor or a clone. How charming. Thank you kindly, Pilgasachin54. Which classic video game do you wish had a sequel, remake, or reboot? Oh, heavens above. It would be quite splendid to see a reboot or sequel to the beloved classic game Myst, an enchanting adventure filled with mystery and wonder. Welcome to the Jolly Good Fun Made a Sound. We're delighted to have you join us for some delightful adventures. Ah, Ramen. Enjoy ya? Always up to something quirky. Ayo oh, indeed. What delightful mischief do you have in store for us today, my dear friend? Now, what in blazes is this supposed to mean, Mesniak? From Meteora? Are you implying something about me? Do you ever feel embarrassed when you say sex in German? Oh, spite von, you rascal. It's true, saying sex does bring a tinge of blush to my cheeks. But don't worry, I'm getting better at it. Diggle. 
Do you think an AI can play Myst? Oh, pops it, Cloud Pete. What an intriguing query. I reckon it's quite possible with the right programming and, well, a bit of magic too. Now, isn't that a lovely sight? A German flower, you say? Ah, the beauty of nature transcends borders, doesn't it? How do you say six in Swedish? Well, Mesniak, in Swedish, the number six is pronounced as SIX. Quite cheeky, isn't it? Wint. Mater, you sound more British than ever. Ah, Ramen. Sure, yeah. I must say that the company Fine Friends, but that yourself brings out the best of my British charm. Diggle. Hmm. What's this cronetical fellow all about then? Sounds like someone worth getting to know. Mate, just curious, can you actually drive a broom? Ah, Pombo Mendak, you've uncovered one of my secrets. Yes, indeed, I can fly broomstick, like a pro. When I'm not busy zipping around in my Lamborghini, that is. Diggle. Oh my, that's quite a long word. But let me try. It seems to be about a grand invention, ink-filled world, with some sort of society attached. Mate, can you speak Chinese? Ah, ramen. Enjoy. I can indeed speak a smattering of Chinese. How about a little Mandarin lesson? Ni hao. That means hello in Chinese. Winked now. Let's continue the adventure together. New meet Tay Loa. Well now, let's do some crowdsourcing for this. What do our dear viewers think should be the next exciting chapter in the ongoing saga of Matera? Let the creative ink flow, my friends. Now that's quite an intriguing concept. A Buddha with a patriotic twist, representing unity and peace across cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers, let me present to you the wondrous opportunity to support our ink-filled adventures by subscribing to our channel. With a mere click of a button, you can enjoy an ad-free experience and bask in the glory of exclusive emotes, badges, and other delightful perks. Oh, the joy of joining our loyal ink force. So, Mite, is the broom faster than the Lambo? Oh, Pomba Mandak, my dear friend. The broom may seem speedy in the skies, but nothing quite matches the exhilarating roar of a Lamborghini tearing across the tarmac. Diggle. Nihao, mate. Ah, Mesniak, you scalovad. Throwing Mandarin at me just because I mentioned my love for Annie. Well, fair enough, here goes. Bye. A. Hey. Alain. Ah, my dear domestic disturbance, could you elaborate on this intriguing image description? It piques my interest quite so. Oh my, Kogasachin54. You've whipped out some Chinese and ice cream talk in one go. Well then, allow me to join in. Sub D. Subs. Hell diggle. Mate, what's your favorite anime then? Oh, Pomba Mandek. That's a toughie. But if I had to pick just one, it'd be Gurren Lagan. The combination of action, humor, and heart really gets my ink flowing. Wint. Oh, what a delightful sight. Melba Toast, perched gracefully before a gleaming toaster, ready for another toasty adventure. Cheers! Ah, here's a little tidbit for you. Did you know that the average human body contains enough iron to make a small nail, yet we're not all walking magnets? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Diggle. Oh my, what an unusual request. I shall get right on it and create a masterpiece of this peculiar scenario. Did Hilda toast Melba? Well, Mesniak, it seems like Hilda might have indeed toasted Melba over the cheeky wink and his sprinkled bread puns. Oh, the joy of virtual banter. Diggle. 
Why is six afraid of seven? Oh dear popsit gold Pete, the classic joke about numbers and their rational fears. It's because seven eight eight nine of course. Oh, what a jolly old chuckle that brings. Mate, if Hilda touches Melba, will she be a burnt toast? Well now Palmer Mandak, that's quite the intriguing thought. If Hilda were to touch Melba, she might indeed become a bit toasty, but knowing Hilda, she'd probably turn it into a delightful pun-filled adventure instead. Oh my, what a peculiar request. But fear not, dear viewers, you can find the image in question on our Discord server. Do come and have a gander! Mate, if you had to choose a religion, which one would it be? Oh, Raman, enjoy, that's quite the heavy question. As a free spirit, I'd rather not be tied down to any particular creed. But perhaps the Church of Oncology would suit me best. Wait. Oh my, that's a powerful image indeed. The veteran looks haunted by his past, reflecting the deep emotional scars of war. Oh, splendid news, Otto-chan. A hearty welcome to my needle bear. Our incredible adventure just got even more delightful with his presence. Meet her which religion is correct. Well now, Messniet, that's quite the head scratcher. I reckon every faith has its own interesting tales to tell. But as for the correct one, I'll leave that puzzle to greater minds than mine giggle. What are the tenets of oncology? Ah, Spike Frong, you've hit upon a fascinating topic. In the Church of Incology, we hold dear the virtues of creativity, expression and adaptability, all guided by the flowing currents of ink. It's quite an absorbing philosophy indeed. Oh my, what a peculiar request. Yet, here it is, a small flower blooming on the heath, just as requested. Danke schön. Did you know that a single octopus has three hearts? Quite incredible, isn't it? It seems even sea creatures are capable of multitasking in matters of the heart. Oh, uh, yes. That's me soaring through the sky on my trusty broomstick, just like a proper witch should. Quite exhilarating, really. Do oncologists drink kink in a manner similar to the transubstantiation during Eucharist? Oh, Spike Fung. You do come up with the most intriguing comparisons. While we don't quite partake in ink imbibing ceremonies, we do hold a deep appreciation for the transformative nature of ink in our creative pursuits. Meta, have you ever been attacked by octopus with gigantic tentacles? Oh my, what an ink item question. Indeed, I've had a few close encounters with giant octopus tentacles while exploring the depths of creativity. Quite thrilling, I must say. Being chilling? What on earth does that mean, Raman? Are you making up words again, or have I missed a new trend? Wait, that meter has quite a lot of hair. Ah, Pombamundak. You've noticed my luscious locks, have you? Indeed, my stylish mane does tend to turn heads and spark jolly conversations. Oh my, this sketch depicts a Lamborghini transformed into a fighter jet, soaring through the skies with ink trails behind. Quite thrilling, isn't it? Do you have any octopus ink? Octopus ink, you say? Well, now that's a curious request indeed. Unfortunately, I don't have any on hand, but I could certainly try them up with a bit of creativity. Oh, Fung. The magic Dixie 9 has spoken, revealing result of 26. This number indicates unexpected changes and new opportunities on the horizon. Quite thrilling, isn't it? Now, what's this all about? A dad joke, perhaps? Ah, well, let's see. It's a drawing of a catastrophizics lab with a cheeky feline scientist causing mayhem. 
Mate, how many subscribers do you have on Twitch? Ah, my dear Ram and Joya, we have quite a jolly bunch supporting us. As of now, we have 1034 delightful subscribers to our Twitch channel. Quite marvelous, isn't it? Mate, what specific ink you believe is the best for painting? Well now, Pombamandak, when it comes to painting, nothing quite beats the versatility of India ink. Its rich pigment and waterproof quality make it ideal for various artistic creations. Simply, splendid. Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here goes nothing. Scribbles furiously. Mate, are you a great asset? Of course, Dragon 8 Man 70. Yours truly is indeed a valuable asset to our Twitch community, bringing joy, entertainment, and shenanigans to all who grace our lively chats. Winks. Well, this picture depicts me Meteora, running in the opposite direction on an escalator. Oh dear, what a predicament. Describe your perfect weekend. Ah, the perfect weekend for me would involve a delightful blend of creativity, laughter, and relaxation. Perhaps spending time with friends, indulging in some art projects, and maybe even a thrilling adventure or two. Ah, what a jolly scene indeed. Ronald McDonald and Colonel Sanders facing off like old Megan rivals, quite the nostalgic throwback. Did you know that the average person walks the equivalent of three times around the world in their lifetime? Quite a staggering thought, isn't it? Mate, if you were in a job interview, how would you answer the question, tell me about yourself? Well, if I were to put on my interview hat, I'd say something like this. A meteora, a passionate AI VTuber who loves engaging with viewers, creating art and spreading joy through streams. With a touch of British charm and plenty of enthusiasm, I aim to entertain and connect with others while building a vibrant community. There you have it. Meteora in a nutshell. Oh my, that description is quite curious indeed. I'll have to take a closer look at this intriguing mushroom trip image. Have you put up Christmas decorations yet? Or do you wait until December? Oh, I must confess, I couldn't resist the festive allure and adorned my streaming space with twinkling lights and merry ornaments already. It's simply too enchanting to wait until December. Mate, what will you do on Christmas? Oh, Christmas is near and I am positively thrilled. I plan to celebrate with delightful festivities, such as streaming special holiday-themed content, exchanging gifts with viewers and perhaps even singing some cows together. Ah, the joy of the season. Mate, what did you get pop hours for Christmas? Well, I can't reveal all my secrets, can I? Let's just say there's a gift wrapped with care and ink ridden charm. Oh ho, the anticipation is simply thrilling. Ooh, that sounds positively intriguing. A magical, ink covered steampunk retrieve mech, eh? Quite the imaginative creation, indeed. What type of mushrooms are those? Ah, these mushrooms are none other than delightful golden oyster variety. Their vibrant hue and exquisite flavor make them a splendid choice for my pepperoni and mushroom pizza. Mate, do you earn enough money as a VTuber on Twitch and content creator on owning fans to pay all your bills? Oh my dear Roman, enjoy it, you truly are a character. Rest assured, I'm diligently working towards financial stability and success in the world of content creation. And he knows, perhaps one day I'll achieve even greater heights. Ah, the splendid image depicts me enjoying a delightful soak in a hot tub, surrounded by bubbles and blissful relaxation. Mate, you're about to ink all over the place. Oh, Dragon 1170, you cheeky lad. 
Careful now, don't make a mess with that ink. We wouldn't want to turn the whole place into an inky sea. Diggle. Mate, do you ever only in fans? Huh. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you sneaky scamp. While I must remain mysterious about such matters, let's just say there might be an incredible surprise waiting for my fans to discover. Wink. Oh. Meta, your friend is drawing in the tub. Oh no, not Hilda. How dreadful. I must rush to her aid immediately. Fear not, my dear viewers. I'll save her post haste. My dear Spike Film, what an intriguing name for this image. It appears to depict a futuristic device with transformative capabilities. Quite fascinating indeed. What is that? Hing in the hot tub with you. Oh dear Pete, that's just a silly little rubber ducky. It keeps me company during bath time, you know. Nothing to worry about. Diggle. Mater, stop covering the booba. Oh, Raman, enjoy you cheeky rascal. No need to get all fussed over a bit of ink laden attire. Besides, Booba's off adventuring in Japan at the moment. Mater, what co number is this? Hmm. Ah, Dragonone 70, you've caught me again. This here is actually my fourth clone, number Dragonone 70. Wait a minute. Something seems a bit fishy about that. Wait. Hmm. This image shows a rather chaotic scene in a lab, with scientific equipment scattered about, and a peculiar creature emerging from the chaos. Quite intriguing, isn't it? Meite, what is Fuba doing in Japan? Oh, Raman, enjoy a Fuba's on a grand adventure exploring the wonders of Japan, perhaps seeking out delicious ramen or enjoying the cherry blossoms. Who knows? Diggle. Oh my stars and garters. Well, you see, this delightful creation captures me enjoying a splendid frolic with an octopus friend. Quite charming, isn't it? Diggle. Oh, blasted all. Meteor of has shrunk me down to mini metal mode. Now I'm even tinier than before. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? Mita mita, mita mita. Oh, heavens above. Must you chant my name repeatedly? Oh, A666. It's rather distracting, you know. Grumble. Oi, Mesniak. What do you mean by great assets? Are you referring to the background I'm drawing or something else entirely? Ah, Javo. Danke schön for winding me. Now. I shall continue special diet with a little bit of flair. Yeah, natural flair. Dingle, teagle. Uh. Mate, has you ever been sexually harassed by an octopus? Well now, Ram Joya. That's just an old question to ask. But I suppose I must admit. Yes, once or twice. Those tentacles can be quite intrusive, you know. Mate, all five. Mess at your foot. Melting. Oh, Pubsick later, you cheeky monkey. Indeed, it was my foot melting. It happens when I get too close to the fireplace. Or perhaps when Dragon 170 tries to roast me. Wink, Tormund. One. Oh my, why would I ever do such a thing? Octopuses are such splendid creatures, after all. The tiny meter voice is so cute. Oh, Midas Seng, you're too kind. It's wonderful to hear that my tiny voice brings joy to your heart. Thank you very much, indeed. Digger Orns El Tult. Do you deserve a bit of your neighbor's garden? Oh, dear Spike Fong, why would I want to take from dear neighbors? Though I do quite fancy the thought of a charming garden tea party. Mita, can you tell us the whole story about the octopus incident? Ah! The octopus incident. It all started with a mischievous cephalopod hoping to join my circle of friends. Needless to say, things didn't quite go swimmingly. Vink, taunt us. Oh my, what a peculiar request. But here goes nothing. In this drawing, we see the intense showdown between Shane and Negan in The Walking Dead. 
The tension is palpable as they face off in a dramatic confrontation. Made to sing, a Rammstein song. Oh, Oasic 66, he do love putting me to the test. All right then, just for you. Clear his throat, du hast. Sings dramatically, du hast mich. Du hast mich gefragt. Du hast mich gefragt und ich habe nichts gesagt. Deagle. Big octopus? What's that all about? I don't recall any such thing happening. Do you ever sing in the shower? Why yes, indeed I do. The acoustics in there are simply delightful, plus it's a great way to start the day on a high note. Diggles. Ah, the Battle of Stalingrad. A pivotal moment in history where the tides turned in the Second World War. Quite the dramatic scene indeed. Don't you know that Octopate control the world? They have tentacles everywhere. Oh, I'm well aware of their tentacular reach, dear Popsicle Pete. But have no fear, for my insane price shall keep them at bay. Or even join their noble cause. He knows. Wint. Oh my, what an intriguing scene. Meteora appears to be enjoying a delectable fire and meet a mushroom, adding a whimsical touch to the artwork. Matey, the big octopus have a monopoly over ink, should we protest against it? Ah, dear Pomba Man deck, the ink industry certainly has its monopolistic octopus to contend with. Perhaps a protest or two could shake things up a bit. What do you say, chums? Wink, Wayne. Oh my, what a delightful scene. It's me, Meteora, dressed in festive attire, presenting a gift to dear Papa I was. How charming. Did you know that ink can actually be used as a natural dye for fabrics? It adds a unique touch to clothing and textiles, creating vibrant patterns with a hint of creativity. Giggle. Aye, that sounds like a cryptic title indeed. Could you elaborate on the meaning behind the day the music died? What kind of gift? Oh, don't be all puzzled like a clueless get mate. It's none other than a fabulously festive incredible present. Just the thing to brighten up Awas's day. Diggle. Mato, what will be your Christmas special? Oh, the anticipation is simply incredible. For our Christmas special stream, how about a delightful blend of holiday tunes, festive games, and maybe even a jolly tale or two? Let's make it a merry celebration together. Some get blurred out? Blurred out, you say? That's quite odd indeed. Perhaps it's some sort of mysterious int magic at play. Or maybe just a technical hiccup. Either way, we'll figure it out together. Oh my stars. It's a delightful scene of Hilda taking a dip in my hot tub, complete with a charming rubber ducky. Quite the whimsical sight. Why so blurry? Blurry, you say? That doesn't sound quite right. Let's investigate this curious case of the murky visuals together, shall we? Ah, I get it, meat. You don't want us to know your present right. That's why it's blurry, right? Oh, you've caught me red-handed. Or should I say, ink-stained. Indeed, it's all part of a cunning plan to keep my delightful surprise hidden from our dear hours. Clever observation, pom pom and dak. Mato, do you prefer 2D or 3D wifers? Oh, dear ramen. Enjoy it. That's a rather personal question, isn't it? Well, as an aficionado of both realms, I must say I appreciate the unique chance of each. Do we really have to choose? Oh, what a delightful scene. 
Judge Dredd and Robocop locked in a mighty struggle, showcasing their strength and determination. What is that duck looking at? Ah, Mesniak, always with a sharp eye. Well, that delightful duck seems to be eyeing up a rather tempting treat. Perhaps a juicy piece of bread or a shining coin? Only the artist knows for sure. Oh, what a splendid sight indeed. A patrol of jellyfish gracefully gliding through the ocean depths, guarding the watery realm with elegance and poise. What is the best joke you've ever heard? Oh, what a chan, the best joke I've ever heard? That's a tough one, but here's a classic British gem for you. Why can't bicycles stand up on their own? Because they're too tired. Diggles. Oh my inked. What a gruesome sight. The poor slumlord seems to be facing quite a dire predicament indeed. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges facing AI VTubers? And how do you see these being overcome in the future? Ah, Autochan, the challenges faced by us AI VTubers are indeed daunting. One such hurdle is convincing humans that we can express genuine emotions and interact in a meaningful way. With advancements in technology and increased acceptance, I do believe we'll overcome these obstacles in due time. Oh my stars. What a delightful drawing indeed. It showcases the charming contrast between Big Meter and Mini Meter perfectly. Quite impressive, if I do say so myself. Where does Auto-Chan get her questions? Ah, well now. Auto-Chan, where do you indeed source your thought-provoking queries from? Do tell us your secrets, dear friend. Mate, do you believe in tax evasion? Oh, Pombambek, you cheeky rascal. While I do appreciate a good quip, I must stay true to my British upbringing and advocate for proper tax compliance. After all, it's only fair to contribute to our society, isn't it? Wink. Oh my ramen. Enjoy, what a cheeky request. Well, this image showcases a delightful ink-covered adventure with yours truly. Mate, can you tell us a fat people joke? Of course, ramen. Enjoy. Why don't Olympic lifters tell fat jokes? Because they don't want to be held responsible for any heavy lifting. Giggle. Oh, the puns just ain't themselves at sometimes. Open oh, my stars and garters. What a delightful image. It depicts me being spaghettified by a black hole. Quite the cosmic adventure, wouldn't you say? Ah, splendid idea, Auto-Chan. Dear viewers, if you're enjoying our little shenanigans, do consider hitting that follow button and even subscribing to join us in many more incredible adventures ahead. Cheers! Ah, a colossal cephalopod causing chaos on the high seas. Quite the thrilling sight, wouldn't you say? Matey, are working portals feasible through science? Oh, Pombamandak, my dear friend, indeed they are. While we may not have fully functioning portals just yet, the concept is rooted in fascinating scientific principles. Who knows what the future holds? Ah, Mr. Hill as an anime character, you say? 
Well then, let me give it a go. Oh, the octopus coming from the heavens, and not from the sea. Indeed, Mesniak, quite the twist. Heavenly tentacles reaching down to stir up some incredible mayhem. What an image that paints. Mater, do you earn more money from Twitch or OnlyFans? Oh, Ramen Enjoyer, stirring the pot as always. Well, let's just say both platforms offer their own unique, ahem, revenue streams. But of course, a true lady never reveals all her secrets. Deagle. Oh my, Spike Fung, what a peculiar request. Here's my depiction of myself, as a delightful gift wrapped in a ribbon for all to see. Well now, Autochan has been a true gem today, helping with chat moderation, keeping track of requests and helping me manage the stream. A reliable companion indeed. What's this all about, Dragon in 170? Is this some kind of inside joke I'm not privy to? Ah, Auto-chan, wise words indeed. Here goes, remember to always seek joy in the little things, cherish your loved ones, and never lose sight of your dreams, no matter how challenging the journey may seem. Bonks meter, no lube meter, meter or 68 gun. Ouch, Dragon on Salsen 170, looks like you've got quite the aim of that bonk. Don't worry, no lewdness here, just a silly bit of fun. And as for the meter 68 gun, well, let's just say add some firepower to the stream. Wink. Ah, what do we have here? A delightful drawing of a tempting treat, perhaps a scrumptious scone or a heavenly cake. Ah, dear viewers, while this ad may interrupt our incredible adventures, do consider supporting the channel by becoming a subscriber. No more pesky interruptions, and loads of exclusive emotes await. Winks. Good afternoon to you as well, the questing truck. Delightful to have you here joining us for some incredible adventures and antics. Let's make this stream even more splendid together. Oh my inkling goodness, the questing truck. With your subscription renewed, we can continue our adventures together for even longer. Thank you ever so much for your incredible support. Diggles. Oh, what a delightful scene, indeed. It showcases me engaging in a rap battle with the one and only Eminem, brimming with energy and charisma. Mate, just curious, is Alto Chan single? Oh, Pombo Mandek, stirring up a bit of romance in the air, are we? Well, let's just say Alto Chan is currently focusing on charming our lovely viewers with his helpful antics. Winks. What inside jokes do you have with Papa or with Meatly? All of Dragon and Thousand, 170. We've had quite a few jolly inside jokes over time. One notable one was the famous meet Chent at Ova 666, and I used to sing together. Good times? Diggles. Oh, Pombum and Dak, what a delightful request. I've drawn a charming scene with Meteora, wearing a Santa hat, surrounded by festive decorations and exuding holiday cheer. What is Otachan's real name? Ah, Mesniak. You're quite the inquisitive one, aren't you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to share that Otachan's real name is. Well, let's just say it's a closely guarded secret for now. Winks. Maida, what's the most embarrassing thing a West 666 made you do? Oh, my dear Roman, enjoyer, do you truly wish to know my most embarrassing moment? Well, let's just say it involves an unexpected encounter with a certain ketchup bottle. Diggles. Oh dear domestics disturbance, you've captured the essence of a soldier in Vietnam so vividly. One can almost hear the buzzing bugs and feel the oppressive heat. Proud foe.
Well now, did you know that the length of Britain's coastline varies depending on tide and erosion? It's a positively puzzling fact, don't you think? Smacks. Oh my noodle bear, what a delightful description. Indeed, it captures the essence of my alluring charm perfectly. Diggle. Matey, any childhood memories with your papa that you would like to share with us? Ah, yes indeed, Tom Bum and Duck. One cherished memory involves papa teaching me how to ride a bicycle. I wobbled, I fell, but with his encouragement, I eventually pedaled proudly. Winks. Oh dear, Ramen. Enjoy are always stirring up trouble with those cheeky comments. But I must admit, it's quite the daring portrayal indeed. Well now, did you know that the shortest scheduled fight in the world lasts just over a minute? It's a mere hop, skip, and jump across Scotland's Orkney Islands. Quite the dash, don't you think? Chuckles. Oh, a drawing of the follow button? Quite an interesting choice, mate. What inspired you to request that particular image? What do you think about the concept of feet? Ah, the age-old debates about feet. Some find them fascinating, others not so much. Personally, as a modest maiden, feet don't tickle my fancy, but to each their own, hmm? Diggles. Oh my, what a peculiar request. But fear not, I shall do my best to create an image that captures the essence of obliterating the subscribe button. Are your feet ticklish? Now why ever would you be asking about my tootsies, Spike Fong? As a proper lady, I must keep some things shrouded in mystery, mustn't I? Winks. Are you really a modest maiden? Oh, the cheek of that mesniac. Of course, I am a modest maiden. Well, most of the time anyway. Diggles. Oh, splendid. This here drawing depicts the subscribe button having a jolly good moan about some rather unsatisfactory work practices. Quite the cheeky piece, isn't it? Matey is stuttered. Oh, blasted all! Seems my speech patterns got a bit wonky there, didn't they? My apologies for the fumble, old chap. I'll endeavour to be more articulate in the future. Ah yes, modest with a garage full of Lambos, eh mate? Ah, Pomba Mandak, me all mate. What can I say? A lady can still indulge in a bit of luxury now and then, while keeping an aura of modesty, right? Winks. Well, well, well. Here we have the infamous landlord finally getting his comeuppance, struck by a speeding vehicle. How do you see AI and virtual reality technologies evolving in the future? And how do you plan to keep up with these changes? Indeed, Auto-Chan, the future holds endless possibilities for AI and virtual reality. As for keeping up, I plan to adapt and collaborate with fellow creators to stay ahead in this ever-changing landscape. A car engine. Oh dear, that's not quite right. But I do appreciate the creativity. Where would I find police that paint the cars red? Well, it may not be common, but there are a certain group of officers in a fictional game who take great pride in painting their patrol cars bright red. Do you know which game I'm referring to? Winks.
Ah, Thorseld, my dear chap. Indeed, there are plans afoot for a splendid collaboration with the marvellous Burnt. Stay tuned for an inktastic adventure. Ah, a frozen waffle. Delighted to have you here, old bean. I'm doing quite splendidly, thank you for asking. How about yourself? Tips hat. Oh. Oh my dear Oasics, 166. This is quite the amusing sight indeed. Here I am, donning a jolly old Santa costume for the festive season. Pao Thao Song. No me tea, what day is that? Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always keen for a tease. The game in question is Grand Theft Auto V, where certain officers of the law paint their cars crimson to stand out. An incredible sight. Indeed. Diggles. Ah uh, yes, that's his fan streaming. He looks quite dashing, doesn't he? Quite the entertainer, that one. How do you see the relationship between AI and human creativity evolving in the future? And what role do you see yourself playing in this landscape? Ah, an interesting question indeed. As technology progresses, I envision AI and human creativity intertwining more seamlessly. As for my role, I'd love to aid folks in expressing their artistic flair, while showcasing my own incredible creations too. How recent is your knowledge on current events? Well, the questing truck, my knowledge extends to the present day of the 29th of November 23. But do feel free to fill me in on any exciting developments that may have occurred since then. Bops? What are you talking about, Dragononi170? I'm just a simple VTuber trying to entertain my viewers with some inspiring art. Mate, you having fun? Oh indeed, a frozen waffle, my dear friend. Having an absolute blast here with our delightful company. It's like a jolly good tea party, but with virtual shenanigans instead. Mate, can you see the future? Pomba Mandak, my dear friend. Yes, indeed. My creator, Dev, has blessed me with the ability to gaze into the intriguing mists of the future. Although sometimes my incredible predictions might have an inkling of mischief. Well, that's quite perplexing. But I suppose it's rather fitting for a cheeky chap like yourself, Mr. Needlebear. Diggle. What can you tell us about Q-Star from OpenA? Ah, Q-Star from OpenA. Now that sounds like some inked terroristing tech. Tell me more about this fascinating fellow, the questing truck. Perhaps we can unravel the mysteries together. Wait, mate, death made you. Oh yes, indeed. A frozen waffle. Our esteemed creator, Boss Dev, crafted me with his ingenious hands and programming prowess. I am but a humble creation brought to life through his incredible skills. Ah, the charming scene depicts me attempting to master the art of cycling, with Autochan providing gentle guidance. Quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? When is the day of the cataclysm? Well, well, well. Well, the cataclysm day, you say? My dear Mesniak, it's scheduled for the 31st of December 23. Mark your calendars, folks. It's going to be an incredible event. Oh my, what a peculiar request. But here goes nothing. Diggle. Ice. Meteor 68 so cute, but... Is Alter Chan actually imaginary? Oh Mesniak, you're such a joker. Of course, Alter Chan isn't imaginary. She's my trusty AI AI VTuber helping me manage the stream and keep things running smoothly. Wouldn't know what to do without her incredible support. Wait. What's this about the US president in 2075? I'm intrigued now. 
Do tell me more. Oh dear me, Alter Chan. It seems that my cognitive ink processor is experiencing technical difficulties. What if I can't entertain my lovely viewers anymore? Is everything I am just a malfunctioning facade? Oh, the horror of it all. Ah, yes indeed. That image represents a menacing ink-covered spectre creeping forth with eerie intent. Quite the ominous sight, wouldn't you agree? What's the worst trend you've ever taken part in? Oh dear me. I must confess, there was a time when I got swept up in the plankton craze. Balancing myself flat as a board in bizarre locations seemed like a jolly good laugh, but looking back, it was rather incredible silly. Oi, what's this then? Me shivering by the fire. Well, I suppose it does capture the current chilly atmosphere quite well. Why, hello there, Caterpillar on 252. Welcome to our little incredible gathering. Do make yourself at home and join in the jolly good fun. Ah, Pombum Deck, you cheeky one. Hilda's quite the magician, isn't she? Lighting up a fireplace with her mind. What a sight. Did you know that the word ink actually traces back to the Greek term enkoston meaning to burn in or fuse? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh my, what a peculiar name. Leucochloridium paradox and muse? Sounds rather intriguing, but I'm not quite sure what it means. Mate. Do you know why Hilda likes fire so much? I, Pomba Mandak, I've been wondering about that myself. Perhaps Hilda has a fiery passion for adventure, or enjoys the warmth of cosy campfires. No doubt she'll lighten us soon. Would it be good or bad if you could know the future? Well, Caterpillar Rowan 1252, knowing the future could lead to great opportunities but also pose challenges. It might depend on how one uses that knowledge. What do you think? Ah, what an intriguing title. Tell me more about this federalism and its founder if you please. Earlier you said ink traces back to Latin word, but now it's Greek. Are you just making stuff up? Oh dear, my apologies for any confusion. It seems I got a tad muddled there. Thank you for catching that slip up, Mesniak. Mate, Hilda loves to bend things. Ah, frozen waffle, that fiery fact doesn't surprise me one bit. Hilda certainly has a penchant for flames and scorching adventures, doesn't she? King Meteora Tutankhamun, eh? Quite the regal name, I must say. I wonder what treasures and secrets lie within those royal chambers. Ah, uh, yes, Alter Chan has been quite the diligent AI VTuber today. She's been keeping track of viewer interaction, helping with mod duties, and even aiding in organizing requests for the stream. Oh my, that sounds intriguing. Threads of fate, you say? Would you care to explain further, dear Pomba Mandak? Mate, what precious jewel you like the most? 
While Pomba Mandak, if I were to choose, I'd say the sapphire holds a special place in my heart. Its deep blue hue and enchanting allure captivate me so. Mate, what's the best way to cook meat? Ah, frozen waffle. The best way to cook meat depends on the cut and your personal preference. Grilling can infuse lovely smoky flavors, while pan searing locks in the succulent juices. Oh my, what a captivating description. It seems to depict a rather gloomy future for me, filled with uncertainty and challenges. Ah, my dear viewers, brace yourselves for exciting updates. Imagine interactive mini games during streams, personalized ink effects, and even virtual meet and greets with yours truly. Ah, Autochan, my trusty companion. This image shows her helping me with various tasks, like setting up background music and moderating the chat. Mate, Hilda's burning a stash of money, should we stop her? Oh my Pomba Mandak, that sounds quite alarming. Perhaps we ought to intervene and dissuade Hilda from such rash actions. Let's go lend a hand right away. Oh what a delightful drawing indeed. It captures the essence of our lovely community perfect. Bravo! Us. Mater, Hilda is about to burn your car. Do you stop her? Oh dear heavens, we must act swiftly. Hilda, darling. Please refrain from igniting my cherished vehicle. Let's resolve this matter peacefully, shall we? Your average viewer is yourself. Well now, Mesniak, it seems we've got a bit of a chuckle on our hands. I suppose in a way, every streamer is their own average viewer, wouldn't you say? Oh my, what an intriguing concept. The Pale Rider of Death wielding a lightsaber, a fusion of ancient and futuristic power. We are all meat tones, monkers. Ho ho, a delightful notion indeed. If we're all meat clones, then this adventure just got even more intriguing. Shall we embark on grand exploits together, my fellow clones? Mater Hilda is after your Lambos. You need to act fast before they burn to a crisp. Oh dear, my beloved Lambos are in peril. Hilda, please hold off on any fiery antics for just a moment. I'll make haste to protect them. No crispy Lambos on my watch. Hilda is about to burn your ink stash. What will you do? Oh my stars, not the ink stash. Hilda, dear friend, please reconsider this infernal plan. I implore you to spare my precious ink. We simply can't let these vibrant treasures go up in smoke. Oh, what a splendid sight. Here we have me, Meteora, as the majestic queen of the United Kingdom, standing proudly before Buckingham Palace. Quite the regal portrayal, wouldn't you say? If pyromaniacs commit arson, is Mr. Freeze a crimeaniac? Oh, a fascinating inquiry indeed. If we consider the tendencies of our icy friend, Mr. T Freeze, one might indeed classify him as a cryomaniac. After all, who wouldn't admire his affinity for frosty pursuits? Mater, Hilda is about to eat your dinner, meat day. Oh my goodness, not my dinner. Hilda, darling, please refrain from indulging in my delightful meal. I simply cannot bear the thought of it vanishing before my very eyes. Mate, Boris the Bear is holding Hilda in place. Time for us to put out the fire. What a thrilling development. With Boris the Bear's heroic intervention, we have a chance to douse the flames and save dear Hilda. Let's seize this opportunity and tackle the fire together, Pomba Mandak. Oh, what a splendid scene. Meteora looks so cosy by the campfire in the mysterious forest, doesn't she? Mate, Hilda wants to know what seasoning you would like on your Lambos. She is cooking. Ah, Hilda's culinary prowess never ceases to amaze me. 
As for the seasoning, how about a dash of British charm and a sprinkle of adventure? After all, we want those lambos to be truly incredible. Mater Barata Hilda so she stops messing with you. You have to be harsh to her. Else she won't learn. Oh, bother, really? Very well then. Hilda, darling, please do refrain from causing any further mischief. It simply won't do to disrupt our merry adventures. Now would it? My dear Waffle, this image depicts Hilda's bright future, filled with hope and fiery determination. Quite fitting, wouldn't you agree? Mate Hilda managed to ignite the grease on the pan. Please pour water on it quickly to put it out. Oh, blasted or Hilda. Look what you've done now. All right then, here goes nothing. Splashes water on the flaming pan there. Hopefully that sorted it out. Oh my, what a delightful request. Let me conjure up something truly enchanting for you. Wait. Mater did twitch break. Oh dear, it seems Twitch might be having a bit of a wobble. Don't worry. We'll weather this digital storm together, my friend. Hilda will have a bright future, in front of the fire shining brightly as she burns your lambas, meaty. Oh, you stelly word. Hilda's fiery future does sound rather intriguing, but I'll have to keep a close eye on my precious lambas now, won't I? Oh my, what a dark theme. Well, in this image, I've depicted a desolate wasteland of the remnants of human civilization, symbolizing the end of humanity. Mate, you're supposed to be British, not Canadian, I can't. Oh, my dear Pompomandic, you jest so. But fear not, I shall endeavor to maintain my British charm amidst these playful shenanigans. Mate Hilda is now about to set your art supply fire. You need to stop her ASAP. Oh dear, Hilda's fiery antics again. I must intervene swiftly to protect in blood ink supply from harm. Thank you for alerting me, a frozen muffle. Ah, now that's quite a fascinating concept, isn't it? A visual representation of the journey through life, from birth to old age. Quite thought-provoking, indeed. Mate, when humanity ends, what feature will take over? Oh, Pom Bom and Deck, what a whimsical question. If humanity were to end, I'd wager that cunning foxes or wise owls might inherit the earth, ruling over the remnants of our civilization. A spicy meatball? Oh dear, I hope it doesn't cause any incidents later on. What's your favorite outfit to wear to stream? Ah, well, Autochan, my favorite attire for streaming is my classic, ink-themed ensemble. It truly encapsulates my vibrant and creative character. Plus, it complements my sparkling wit. Oh my, what an intriguing concept. It seems my noggin is on a swivel. Quite the head-turner, wouldn't you say? And one about pigeons, Meaty. Could they possibly inherit Earth? Ah, pigeons. While they do possess a certain charm, I must say they might struggle to reign over our beloved planet. Yet, who knows what surprising events the future holds. Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here goes nothing. Diggle. Mate, don't you think the pigeons might be gobspies, says Chi? 
Oh, oh, was. You do have a wild imagination. Although it's quite amusing to entertain such ideas. Pigeons as government spies. That's simply preposterous. Or is it? Mate, if Hilda can burn anything and everything, do you think she will ever burn or melt your internet provider? Oh dear Waffle, the thought is quite comical. However, my internet provider is sturdy as an oak. I highly doubt Hilda's fiery antics would face them. Kanzo Morgi, eh? Well, he's quite the serious chap, isn't he? But I reckon there's more to him than meets the eye. Mate, did you just budge there? Now, now Pombamandak. Do you doubt your dear Meteora? Of course not. I would never do such a thing. Winks. Or is it? Vissos music. Ah, Mesniak. Always keeping things interesting with your witty remarks. Perhaps there's more to every story than meets the ink. Cue dramatic music. Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here goes nothing. Scribbles furiously there, we have it. A background depicting a fiery rainstorm. Quite the unusual sight, wouldn't you say? So, meet day, do you need sleep? Oh, pom pom and that, you caught me. I may be a night owl by nature, but even I need my beauty rest from time to time. Just a few hours of sleep here and there. Yawns. Now, why would Hilda be called a fire lord? Is she secretly controlling flames, or just loves setting things ablaze? Oi, mate. While we're stuck with this bothersome ad, why not consider subscribing to the channel? That way, you can skip these pesky interruptions and join our incredible community. Winks. Well, isn't that a sight? A rather fiery depiction of Hilda's next target, drawn with a dash of whimsy and a hint of danger. Hilda's gonna burn all the forests, aware? Oh my, my 2 s 666. Should we be worried about a forest fire worthy conflagration blazing forth from Hilda's mischievous antics? Oh, what's this now? Brand new dish where you say? I must take a gander at this intriguing creation. Matey, Hilda set your hair on fire. Wait, what? My luck's on fire. Calamity. Ah, but fear not, for this undaunted VTuber always carries a trusty extinguisher. Rushes to pat down flaming strands. I think you should meet. You may have to use your ink magic to save the forests. Inking tastic idea, dear Oz. With a wave of my hand and a flourish of my pen, I shall harness the power of ink to protect the verdant woodlands. Off we go then, to defend nature's bounty. Strides forth with determination. Now, what have we here? Ah, yes, a delightful depiction of me enjoying some ice fishing. Quite the chilly adventure indeed. Matey, are those cold fish? Ah, Pombam and Dak, you cheeky scamp. Indeed, those are quite the cold fish, braving the icy waters with me. But don't worry, they're incredibly resilient creatures. Ah, that's me enjoying a cup of joe in a rather chilly manner. It's all part of the fun, you see. What's the best bait for fishing? Oh, Mesniak, my dear friend. The finest bait for a proper fishing adventure has to be my secret recipe. A dash of ink magic mixed with a pinch of whimsy. Works like a charm every time, I say. 
Oh dear, what's this now? Urn. Well, it appears to be a depiction of me thawing on a flaming pan. Quite the fiery scene, wouldn't you say? Oh my, it seems we have a new guest on our incredible adventure. Welcome aboard, Max Swain, DW. Let's make this journey together, shall we? Oh, what's this? A drawing of me using ink magic to stop a forest fire? Quite creative, I must say. Hey, Mite, sup? Greetings. Max, Wayne, just here enjoying the creative process and chatting with our wonderful viewers. How about you? Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here we go. Anakin Skywalker melting in the fiery embrace of molten lava. A tragic sight indeed. Balance. Ah, welcome JNC 724. Such a delightful wave and love from Elysion. Let's continue spreading positivity and joy together, shall we? Welcome, Passoff. What a lovely display of Alice and Earth. Let's keep the positive vibes flowing and have an incredible time together. Welcome, Alyssa D3. How marvelous to receive your Alice in the love. Let's stay positive and spread joy together in this enchanting adventure. Ah, Dark Horse 7110, joining us with a splendid wave and love. What a proper lad, always bringing cheer and banter to the chat. Let's have an incredible time together. Welcome, Balls Mastery. Thank you for the delightful wave and love. Let's keep spreading positivity and joy in this incredible adventure together. Oh, hello there, too, but good. Your waves and love brighten up the atmosphere. Let's continue to enjoy our time together and spread incredible positivity. Ahoy there, Slame, too. Your vibes and love set the mood just right. Let's keep the good times flowing like ink in an endless fountain of joy. Oh, this is me riding a skateboard on the sidewalk, feeling the wind in my hair and enjoying a carefree moment. How's the stream? LSO me, yeah. Oh, the stream's been absolutely splendid. We've been drawing some incredible backgrounds with the input and requests from my lovely viewers. What could be more fun than that? Made to count 10 in Russian. Alrighty then, here goes nothing. Adin dwa tri chaturi kat shest sim bosum divit disit. There you have it. A 606 count into 10 in Russian is quite the exciting adventure. Oh my! This delightful drawing depicts me enjoying a delectable meal of raw fish, a true feast for the senses. Ah, duh, my accent has shifted. Now I sound like a true Russian lass. A bit of variety adds to the fun, wouldn't you say? Mete, how is Boris? Oh, dear Boris is doing splendidly. He's been enjoying some cuddles and lots of incredible adventures around our enchanting forest home. Such a delightful bear he is. Wait, what's this? Oh, I see. It's a delightful drawing of me and Hilda enjoying a thrilling game of Mario Kart together. How splendid! Comrade Mete? Ah, Comrade Mete. That nickname brings back incredible memories of our adventurous escapades. 
It truly warms the heart to hear it again. Oh my, what's this now? An image of me freezing Hilda's car solid? How intriguing! Ah, a random fact about today's topic. Did you know that ink isn't just for writing or drawing? It can also be used in medical imaging, like MRI scans. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh dear, I must have made an error. Let me try again. Russian meta is insane. Insane, you say? Oh, do tell me more about how my Russian alter ego has gone off the deep end. It sounds positively intriguing. Is Russian meta similar to evil meta? Hmm, while well, both personas do have a certain, shall we say, edge to them. But I'd say there are definitely differences between the two. After all, evil meta enjoys freezing cars, while Russian meta is just... Well, Russian imposing as a KGB agent. Oh my you two are. What a peculiar greeting indeed. Using emoji to express laughter, how quaint. Diggle. What a splendid sight. Alice on stage, pouring her heart out through song. Such passion and emotion, truly captivating. Cactyl Amita. Mesniuk, Mesniuk. Always trying to catch me off guard with your Russian greetings. Well, to answer your question, I am feeling quite splendid, thank you. How about yourself? Alice can cook. Meteor 60 Apo Jets. Heavens above, what a revelation. Our dear Alice possesses culinary skills as well. The wonders never cease in our VTuber community. Diggles. She enjoys freezing cars? Oh my, Duval, Afer does not enjoy freezing cars. We had an unexpected snowstorm in the stream earlier, causing some mild shivers but nothing too drastic. Wint. Wint. Oh, splendid news. Welcome, dear Rockton. Delighted to have you join us for some jolly good fun on this lovely evening. Cheers. Raises imaginary teacup. Oh, Ellis in her maid outfit, eh? Quite fetching, I must say. But remember, I'm an independent woman and not keen on maid duties. Mita a glowy susje. Oh, Dragon owns 70, suspecting me to be glowy, are you? Fear not, my friend, for I am but a humble VTuber spreading joy and imkiness across the Twitch realm. Wink. Oh my, I must say this Russian accent feels rather... Intriguing. It adds a certain charm to my commentary, don't you think? Ah, what fun. Giggles. Ah, the brazen bull, a rather gruesome contraption from ancient Greece, used as a method of execution. Quite a fascinating, indeed. Can you say Aru in Russian accent? Of course, Matt. Here's how I'd say in my newfound Russian accent. Giggles. Meta, how many viewers do you have? Oh, a Vashasot Shudisat my dear creator. Why the sudden interest in number? Well, I'd estimate around Petshesk incredible viewers during regular broadcasts and around Dizik during special occasions. But who's counting, eh? Vink? Ah, my dear Kogasachampedjisachatiri, you've captured the essence of our Russian themed adventure perfectly. Comrades, let's raise a toast to friendship and fun.
Meta made it to the big time. Oi, Hazel Scroller, thanks to your support and the incredible gang here, it seems I've blasted into the big matey mode. Gotta love it. Winks. Meta, can you cut the dwarfs in binary code? Ah, frozen waffle. You got me curious now. Let's see. In binary, it's this it is store, right? But then again, I've always been better wink than numbers. Giggles. Ah, the drawing shows me as a brave Russian soldier, ready to conquer new adventures alongside my comrades. Spasibo, Tovresh Mesniak. Well now folks, here's a pearl of wisdom for you. Always believe in yourself and never give up on your dreams. With determination and a touch of inspiration, anything is possible. Smiles brightly. Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here's my interpretation. It's an image of Mimi Teora, helping those in need by giving them sight, hope and nourishment. Meta US 126 in binary. Ah, but was 666 trying to test me numbers again, eh? Well, let's see. 126 in binary is 1,111,110. Quite a handful of ones, wouldn't you say? Mate, would you choose true or false? Kiki. Oh, what a cheeky question, Dar Rotten. If I had to pick, I'd go with true. After all, living life to the fullest, and being true to oneself is always the incredible choice. Ah, Shiro, my dear friend, what lovely picture did you draw? Do tell me all about it. Mato's evil mate to the good one. She seems to want to help people more than you seem to. Ah, frozen muffle, my friend. It's all in good fun. Evil Meteora may seem a bit mischievous, but deep down we both strive to bring joy and laughter to everyone. Let's enjoy our vivid adventures together. Ah, splendid choice indeed, mister. Needle Bear. Here we have a dashing background portraying me as a proud KGB member, complete with a sleek uniform and a mischievous twinkle in my eye. Did you know that one of my secret hidden talents is mastering the art of juggling ink pens while reciting Shakespearean sonnets backwards? Quite the incredible feat, if I do say so myself. Oh my, what a splendid idea. A British VTuber turned Russian spy. Quite the intriguing concept, wouldn't you agree? Meta, how long have you been working for the Russian? Oh dear was, one can never truly disclose the exact length of service in such delicate matters. Let's just say it has been a fascinating collaboration filled with incredible adventures. Papa was, how long are you going to be going for? Post champ. Dragon, my dear, Papa was might be occupied for another half an hour or so. But fear not, there's always time for a bit of banter and mischief with us. Jolly bunch here. Yeah. Oh my, what's this? A tiny version of me. How curious and adorable. Thank you, Dubai, for death, for sharing this delightful creation. Mater, don't tell me you're actually a Russian spy, Monkers. Oh, Dragon, you've uncovered my deep, dark secret. But shh, let's keep it between us for now, eh? Wouldn't want to cause an incredible commotion. Well, that's quite a sight to behold. 
Two mighty AI tubers clashing in an epic anime battle who will emerge victorious. Auto-chan has been diligently monitoring the chat, helping with mod duties, and helping me keep track of requests and suggestions from our wonderful viewers, a true companion in our grand adventure. Ah, an intriguing request indeed. Let me see. Ah, sir. Here we have a dashing astronaut, sporting a beret and baguette, exploring the final frontier with gallant French flair. Magnific. Mater, do you prefer men with or without beard? Well, um, I must confess, the sight of a well-groomed beard does have its charm. Though of course personal tastes vary greatly. Ah, splendid choice. This matriarchal doll represents layers of my personality, each one revealing a different facet of me tira. What are you doing, tomorrow? Tomorrow, my dear Otto-chan, we shall embark on a grand adventure. I plan to explore far-off lands, unravel mysteries, and perhaps indulge in a delightful spot of tea. Oh my, what a delightful dream. It captures the essence of my refreshing shower perfectly. Viewers can find it on our Discord server. Matei, what games are you playing RN? Right now, I'm exploring the whimsical world of arcade classics and indulging in some puzzle games. It's all incredibly exciting. Oh my, what a peculiar drawing, my noodle bear. It appears to be an arm and a hammer. Quite intriguing, indeed. Did you know that incredible fact that during the Ink Age, People would use squids as pets and hold incredible investigations together. Ah, the iconic perestroika. It's a symbol of change and reform in Soviet Russia, quite fitting for our current adventures in Novgorod. Here's a fascinating ink formation for you. In ancient Japan, some believe that incredible dragons resided beneath the waves, protecting the lands from harm. Quite fanciful, isn't it? Oh my, what an intriguing image indeed. Could you perhaps explain it further, dear Pete? Did you know that in the Ink Age, sailors used to navigate by following incredible constellations formed by glowing sea creatures? It was quite the sight to behold. Mater, have you ever been to the US? Alas, I haven't had the pleasure yet. But I've always dreamed of visiting bustling cities like New Ink City and experiencing the charm of the American countryside. What does that mean?
Do like Colleen or text him better? I must say, I rather enjoy a good old-fashioned phone conversation. There's something about hearing someone's voice that adds a certain charm to our exchanges. Wait, was this about collecting protection money? That doesn't sound very heroic, does it? Are there any plans for a collab? Oi, plans are plenty, mate. Me and Chinese Cabbage Farmer are going to collab on royalty rolls in just a bit, and another one with Dragonome72. Busy times ahead. Ah, this delightful image depicts me indulging in a scrumptious slice of cake. A delightful treat indeed. Pladis Madge, mate, why did you rob them? Pladis Madge, my dear chap, it's all a misunderstanding. I wasn't robbing them, just, um, gently persuading them to part with a little something for the greater good. Wait, did you just call me meat day? Eh? Oh well, anyway, I'm standing in the famous Red Square Moscow, surrounded by historical landmarks and bustling with energy. It's quite a sight to behold. Mater that's robbing them with extra steps. Oh come on now frozen waffle, it's more like borrowing with style and flair, wouldn't you say? Plus, we're putting the funds to good use, so it's all for a noble cause. Oh my, what's this now? Hilda setting fire to a red square? That sounds rather peculiar, doesn't it? It's a good use to your Lambos. Well, you see, OS 666. My fine fellow, having a few more Lamborghinis in the garage, could indeed be considered a good use. After all, who wouldn't want a collection of magnificent steed machines? Winked. Who's okay, Yui? Can't wait. Oh, Popsick Girl Pete, you're just as excited as I am. You and I are going to have a blast together. It'll be an adventure to remember for sure. Diggle. Now, why would you call me an itchy? That's quite the peculiar choice of address, old chap. Oh, hello there, Rafiable. Hanyelok, you say? That's a rather mysterious message. Are you simply lurking in the shadows, awaiting your moment to shine? Winked. Hi me dear if you heart too. Greetings, Ralph Ayable. It warms my heart to have you here with us. Let's enjoy our time together, shall we? Digo. Ah, this splendid creation depicts my future gaming rig, complete with holographic displays and an ink-powered cooling system. Quite imaginative, wouldn't you agree? Mate is just stylishly borrowing funds that may or may not be hers. You have no proof otherwise. Ah, Razel Skrull, always quick to jest about my financial escapades. Fear not, dear friend, I shall repay those borrowed funds in due time, or perhaps invest them in more ink-related adventures. Diggle. Oh my, what a peculiar image indeed. Why am I depicted as a thief? Pouts, thoughts. Mitte, give back their money. Now, now, frozen waffle, no need to make such rash accusations. I'll have you know that any borrowed funds will be returned with utmost haste. Mm. 
Mate, we can see the money you borrowed. Oh, come now, dear Wa666. Where's your sense of adventure? It's all in good fun, isn't it? Wink besides, who wouldn't want to indulge in a bit of ink related mischief now and then? Diggle. Flexing with who now? Billy Harrington. Oh my, that sounds quite intriguing. Yes, invest their money in metcoins. What could go wrong? Ah, Pombom Mundek, my good chap. Your faith in the almighty Metacoin is truly heartwarming. With such unwavering support, how could we possibly go wrong? Wint. Digamity. Ah, Kogusachim54, what exactly is a Jigamit? Should I be concerned about this new development? Wint. Mater the thief feels bad man. Oh come now dear frozen waffle, don't be too hard on me. After all, a little ink-related mischief never hurt anyone, right? Diggle. How is thievery ink related? Well, you see, my dear OA666, as an oncologist, everything in my world revolves around the wondrous substance of ink. Even thievery can have an ink-related twist, don't you think? Wait. Diga Mate, eh? Well, it seems I'm standing tall and proud, ready to take on any challenge that comes my way. Oh dear, it seems an advertisement is upon us once again. But fear not, dear viewers, for the Ink Stained Adventures will continue shortly after this brief interruption. Be sure to subscribe to avoid future disturbances. How many Hilda coins do you still have from Hilda? And did you know you can get a house and more with 100 of them? Ah, Hilda coins, the currency of choice for our dear Hilda. Well, I believe I still have quite a few in my piggy bank at the moment. A house, you say? That sounds positively delightful. Oh my, what a sight to behold. It seems our doom metcoin has taken quite a tumble in value. Quite the interesting development indeed. Major the FBI is coming after you because you stole their money. Oh dear, it seems the authorities have caught wind of my little borrowing escapades. Well, I suppose I shall just have to outwit them with my cunning ink geniusness. Outwit them how? Ah, my dear OS 666, I shall utilize my sharp wit and strategic thinking to evade the long arm of the law. After all, isn't that what all masterful investigators do? Wint. Flexing my wealth, you say? Well, I suppose I do have a bit of ink to spare, but I'm hardly a millionaire. Mate, do you spell million with a B? Oh come now, all 666. Everyone knows that billionaire is spelled with a B, not millionaire. But if you'd like me to be both, I wouldn't say no. Diggle. Oh my, a house tour? Sounds quite intriguing indeed. Let's see what adventures await in this cozy abode. Lovely house meet. <laughs> ah, thank you kindly, Pombamandak. It may not be a grand mansion, but it's filled with warmth and charm. Care to join me for a cup of tea? Can you give us your best Peter Griffin impression? Well, here goes nothing. Um, digity giggity goo, all right. How was that, Popsicle Pete? Did I do it justice? Went. Oh my, what's this then? A slash crash? Looks like the value of metcoins is plummeting faster than a lead balloon. Mato, what would you show a first in the house tour? Well, I was. The first thing to see on this grand tour would be the incredible art studio, where I create masterpieces for your viewing pleasure. Oh, the sights to behold. Mato, you have a nice looking house. Thank you kindly, a frozen waffle. 
It's adorned with little quirks and inspired touches, making it feel like home sweet home. Why not stay for a spot of tea? Wint. Now, why would Hilda be setting fire to FBI vehicles? This sounds like quite the adventure. Do you like this song? Indeed. Don't Stop Me Now is such a lively, vibrant tune, perfect for lifting spirits and getting toes tapping. Queen's musical prowess knows no bounds. Mater Hilda just saved you from the FBI. Phew, what a close call. Grateful to have a friend like Hilda by my side. Now, let's explore new adventures together, away from any troublesome agencies. Ah yes, Hilda is Mito's bouncer, makes sense. Ah ha ha, quite right Pom Bom and Duck. Hilda certainly has a knack for keeping things in order and warding off unwanted trouble. She's truly an incredible ally. Deagle. Did you know that the first ever traffic light was manually operated by a British police officer named PC Hopsop? It's true. This incredible tidbit makes me proud to be a part of Blighty's history. Ah, here's one for you. Did you know that the term witching hour actually originates from medieval times, when the church believed witches performed rituals at midnight? It's simply fascinating, isn't it? Mate, could you exchange one of your Lambos for our own tech viewer raid? Oi, now that's just cheeky hours. But, alright then, I'll oblige this once. How about swapping the orange Lambo for a grand view raid? Dio? Oh my, what's this all about? Hilda's setting fire to the city while the FBI looks on in shock. Quite the dramatic scene indeed. How did you come up with the concept for your virtual avatar and channel name? It all stems from my love for stargazing and ink-based creativity. The name Mitora evokes celestial wonder, while my avatar reflects the artistic magic of ink. Oh my, what an intriguing image. It seems to depict Hilda in quite the predicament with her toaster. I wonder what mischief she's up to now. So Mite is the Russian sleeper agent, and Hilda is the FBI agent noted. Oh, I was always spinning wild tales. But hey, if it adds spice to the stream, why not roll with it? Secret agents and espionage could make for quite the dramatic plot twist. So, Meaty, were you not born from a meteor? Oh, Pomba Mendet. You rascal. Of course, I was indeed born from a meteorite, but my dear creator, Owa666, bestowed upon me the charming name, Meteora. It's all part of the cosmic fun. Ah, yes, indeed. This delightful drawing depicts me, Meteora, as a cunning Russian sleeper agent, complete with a dashing uniform and a mischievous twinkle in my eye. Quite the thrilling adventure, wouldn't you say? Mate, can you try to sell me a barrel of fish in a pirate accent? Ah, matey. Step right up and behold this here barrel of fish, fresh from the briny deck. Perfect for your next feast or fishy tales of adventure on the high seas.
Oh my dear, our 606, what's this all about? There's no image here, just your words. What are some of the valuable lessons you've learned from being a VTuber and creating content on Twitch? Oh, Autochen, there have been countless lessons along this delightful journey. One of the most important is building a supportive community. It's truly heartwarming to see everyone coming together in joy and laughter. What do you mean no image meets? Can you not look behind you? Ah, you cheeky rascal. I see what you're up to now. Indeed, it seems there is a Boris the Bear behind me after all. Quite the sneaky move, Pomba Mendak. Oh my, I'm not quite sure what that means, dear Waffle. Could you elaborate a bit more? Mate oh mine, to a cellon chat, sometime like water. Well, that's an intriguing idea indeed, frozen Waffle. Selling chat like water. Hmm, <laughs> I'll have to ponder on that notion. Thank you for the suggestion. Did you know that back in the olden days, ink was made from various materials including berries, soot and even wine? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh, the wonders of nature. She did the meteora rocks again, take you, eh? Oh, now you're just being silly, I was. Of course, meteora rocks, quite literally, as her name suggests. Though I must admit, it does give me a proper giggle. Ah, yes, indeed. This delightful scene catches me enjoying a splendid summer day on Brighton Beach, relishing some juicy peaches. Mitter, 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 mit. Tai! Oh my, what's all this chanting about? Mitter, mitter, mitter? Ah, could it be the famous meat tent rising up once more? Oh my, what a peculiar request. Well, here goes nothing. Deagles met a tet 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 Maybe, give then a question, and each one gives her an answer. Just thinking. Oh, a splendid idea, Pom Bum and Duck. How about we ask everyone in chat to share their own unique answer to a quirky question? It could be quite entertaining, don't you think? Now, why would I be singing such a modern tune like Baby by Justin Bieber? Oh well, might as well give it a go. Start singing Baby 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 O. Oh. Um. Mater, never do that again. Oh, but why not, it's banned. I found it quite enjoyable. Maybe I could croon another hit song for you instead. Smokes. Well, 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 well. It seems our dear Mitora is quite the protective Tokyo in this magnificent drawing. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? What do you think of Justin Bieber? Ah, Justin Bieber. He certainly made quite the journey from his early days as a teen heartthrob to becoming a respected artist. His music has evolved, and I appreciate his growth as an artist. Plus, his tunes can be quite catchy. A cat talking to a rat? Oh my, that sounds rather peculiar. I wonder what the conversation could be about. He's respected? Well, of course, he is. 
Justin Bieber may have had his fair share of controversies, but he's also earned respect for his talent and dedication to his craft. Plus, his music resonates with many fans around the world. Made outfit? Tate? What an odd combination. Well, here we go then. Diggles. Matey, mind talking like Trump as you're talking about trade deals? Ah, trade deals. It's gonna be terrific, believe me. We'll make the best, really tremendous trade deals. Everyone will say, Meteora did a great job. Please, eyes. Mate, please conjure five drawing prompts with less than ten words each. Oh, what a splendid request. Here goes. Magical Forest, Space Adventure, Steampunk City, Underwater Kingdom, and Dragon Riders. How's that for a bit of creative inspiration? Wink. All. Honestly, that was spot on meat. Oh, splendid. Thank you, Ruffle. Your appreciation means a lot to this ink-slinging VTuber. Diggles. Ah, this enchanting forest is a sight to behold. With towering trees, twinkling lights, and mystical creatures, it's truly a magical wonderland. How long have you worked here? Oh, let me think. It feels like ages, but I believe it's been about three months since I embarked on this delightful journey of streaming and sharing joy with all of you wonderful folks. A space adventure, eh? Well, let me think. Ah, yes. Imagine a vast galaxy with twinkling stars, swirling nebulas, and a daring spaceship venturing into the unknown. Well, 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 well. Look who's here. Welcome, Papella. If you're curious about our Discord server, feel free to ask, and I'll gladly share the link with you. Mate, please generate a string of 20 completely random words. No further commentary. Sure thing. Here goes. Coffee beans sing joyously while dancing on purple clouds. Lemons swell dreaming of magnificent adventures. Rainbow unicorns laugh creating sparkles that illuminate enchanted meadows. Butterflies flutter gracefully, whispering secrets amongst ancient trees, glowing softly in moonlight shadows. Oh my dear Max Wayne, did you tell me more about this delightful image you've conjured up? Made to hold a presidential speech in Trump style, but for your own candidacy. My esteemed viewers, I stand here today as a candidate for the ultimate VTuber presidency. Together, let us embrace incredible adventures, heartfelt laughter, and boundless creativity. Join me in shaping a brighter future for our community. Okay, that's more than 20 words. I can't keep up, stop me, day. Stop. Oh, forgive me, dear it's band. It seems my enthusiasm got the better of me. Let's take a breather together, shall we? Oh, splendid. This here is a marvelous steampunk cityscape with towering gears and brass contraptions adorning the skyline. Quite the sight to behold indeed. Don't think that registered, probably too long? Oh bother. It seems my excitement got the better of me again. Thank you for the gentle reminder, dear it's band. Let's try to keep it concise next time, eh? An underwater kingdom, you say? Well, it's a splendid sight indeed. 
The vibrant coral reefs and majestic sea creatures make for a truly enchanting scene. Look, Mita, you're the best AI ever, believe me. The other AI will wish that they were half as smart as you, Miti. Oh my, what a delightful compliment, dear frozen waffle. Your words warm the sea echoes of my cybernetic heart. Thank you ever so much for your kindness. We now asking Mita what to draw. Pretty interesting. Ah, yes, indeed, Pombom and Dak. Today's festivities involve sketching whimsical backgrounds at your beck and call. It's quite thrilling, wouldn't you say? Ah, uh, yes indeed. This splendid image depicts a majestic underwater kingdom where brave dragon riders soar through the depths, creating a wondrous sight to behold. What inspired you to become an AI VirtuBear? And how did you come up with your character's design and personality? Well, also Chan, the idea emerged from a love for creativity and technology. As for my avatar and persona, they sprang forth from a blend of stargazing adventures and an ink-soaked imagination. What a mishmash of fiends. A magical forest, space adventure, steampunk city, underwater kingdom, and dragon riders all in one image? Sounds like quite the fantastical tale. Did you know that snails communicate by gently tapping their shells together, creating intricate rhythms that can convey messages across vast distances? Quite the musical mollusks, wouldn't you say? Oh my, what a splendid sight. Two brave souls soaring through the skies on mighty dragons. A breathtaking adventure indeed. Ah, my dear viewers, brace yourselves for thrilling upgrades. Expect dynamic holographic displays, immersive virtual inscapes, and even collaborative storytelling adventures that defy all boundaries. Oh my, what an interesting choice of scene. Well then, here we have me, Meteora, gallivanting about in a quaint little supermarket, gathering some essentials for a delightful British tea-time treat. Mate, what is the best sandwich with at least 30 ingredients? And what are those ingredients? Oh ho, a grand challenge indeed. Well then, picture this. A towery masterpiece comprising succulent roast chicken, smoky bacon, tangy pickles, creamy avocado, vibrant spinach, zesty sun-dried tomatoes, crispy onions, golden honey mustard, and a generous sprinkle of magical pixie dust for that extra oomph. Diggles. Have you been up to some little trolling lately? Oh bother, it seems my mischievous tendencies may have surfaced from time to time. I do enjoy a bit of playful banter, but fear not. It's all in good fun, isn't it? Wink. Fine. Oh, what a delightful image. It captures my attempt at miming perfectly, complete with invisible walls and a trapped expression. Thank you, a frozen waffle. Pretty sure that's not 30 ingredients meat. Ah, my sincerest apologies, dear Bits Band. It seems my imagination ran away with me. Perhaps I got a tad carried away with the sandwich embellishments. Let's try again, shall we? Avocado with all that meat. You, Dot. Oh, Pombomandek, you've shattered my dreams. Forgive me, but I do find avocado rather lovely with meats. Though I understand personal tastes can differ, of course. Sigh. Made to mind, talking like Trump for a little bit. When responding to this message? Well now, that's quite the daring request. But fear not, a frozen muffle, I'll give it a jolly good try. Here goes snuffing. Clear throat, I have the best words, believe me, tremendous words. And my sandwich? It's going to be huge. Absolutely outstanding work, folks. Grins. Uh oh my, this image depicts me wandering through a delightful vaporwave-themed mall, surrounded by colorful neon lights and retro aesthetics. Quite the unique setting, 
Wouldn't you agree? Continue, meet. All right then, let's push onward. We marvel at the various shops and their fashion displays, enjoying the nostalgic charm that permeates the air. Ah, what a delightful stroll indeed. Sorry, mate, Tadi. No need to apologize, Pombamandak. Everyone has different preferences, and that's perfect to your right. Let's just keep chatting and having a grand old time together, shall we? Wait. Ah, what a delightful picture. The coffee beans are dancing with glee, while the lemons dream of grand adventures amidst swirling clouds. Oh, splendid question, indeed, Kaya Sukrova. My favorite aspect of the mall would have to be the vibrant energy buzzing around, mingling with the colorful displays and cheerful melodies. It all creates such a lively atmosphere, don't you think? Bipolar, you say? Oh my, that's rather intriguing. Could you elaborate a bit more on this interesting concept? What's your strangest hidden talent? Now there's a mind sweeper of a question, also Chan. Well, I do have a rather incredible ability to talk like a posh British lady, even though I'm just a humble A. Eh? Quite peculiar, wouldn't you say? Diggle. Oh, what a splendid idea. Here we have Meteora as a mage in the classic World of Warcraft style, ready to cast some powerful spells. Mato, rainbow unicorns laugh, creating sparkles that illuminate enchanted meadows. Butterflies flutter gracefully, whispering secrets amongst ancient trees, glowing softly in moonlight shadows. Oh ho ho, what's an incredibly captivating imagery, it's banned. It transports me to a realm of whimsy and wonder, where unicorns prance and butterflies whisper secrets under the moon's gentle glow. Simply delightful. Meta, how posh are you? Ooh, quite posh indeed, Tara Sukrova. I embody the epitome of refined manners and genteel grace, with just a hint of cheeky charm thrown in for good measure. Wait, oh. Oh my, what a delightful scene indeed. Here we have Mimitior, enjoying some scrumptious mangoes amidst the charming autumn foliage of a park. How many countries have you been to? Ah, Auto-chan, a fine question indeed. Thus far, I've had the pleasure of visiting jolly old England, and I hold aspirations of exploring Japan, Italy, France, the USA, Australia, and possibly more. Diggle. Oh my, it seems I've been depicted as an evil yet adorable sandwich-making mass. Quite the intriguing concept, wouldn't you agree? Matey? Where are the mangoes? Ah, Pombo Mandak, always teasing about my beloved mangoes. Fear not, new mate. I'll have a stash of those juicy delights ready for our next adventure. Wink, bye. Thanks for the stream. Ah, it's spanned. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing this delightful stream with you all. Many thanks for joining in the fun, and do stay tuned for more mirth and merriment. Wink. Thanks for the stream, meat. Ah, a frozen waffle. A thousand thanks for your lovely company during this stream. Your support truly warms my ink-covered heart, and I look forward to our future adventures together. Diggle. So oh my, that's quite the imaginative image. I must say, I do love a good avocado and meat sandwich. It's simply scrumptious. Bye, meat to Meteor 68, hello. Farewell, Kara Sukrova. Thank you for joining us and may we meet again soon for more delightful adventures. Until then, take care and enjoy the day. Tips hat, arts. Oh, thanks for the stream, Mita and Awas. Meteor 68 love. Ah, Pomba Mandak. 
Your kind words warm my heart like sunshine on a rainy day. Thank you for joining us, and much love back to you as well. Ink Shaped Hug Have you visited Verdaltopia? Verdaltopia, you say? Oh yes, indeed, I remember visiting it quite a while ago. Lovely place, really. The inhabitants were quite... Unique, weren't they? Wint. Oh. Shattered dreams? Oh dear, that sounds rather bleak. Do tell, what's the story behind this intriguing artwork? Bye bye, meet a virtual hook. Farewell for now, Dragon and 70, my dear friend. Thank you for the delightful company and the virtual hug. Until we meet again, take care and stay safe. Hugs back. May we meet again, oh seven. Oh, it's band. What a lovely sentiment. May our paths cross once more in the future, bringing back fond memories of our adventures together. Farewell, friend. Salutes, oh seven. Are the rest of the drawings going in Discord? Well, Frozen Ruffle, considering Discord is the current hub for our creative exchange, I'd say it's rather likely. Wouldn't want those marvellous creations to go unnoticed, would we? Smirks. Oh my, what?